on that picture. Okay. Well, no, not quite. I, I love how that was the first word <laughs> that the recording oh! heard. <laughs> That's on the, so we don't cross the furry line here in uh, <laughs> here here in what lies below. Listen, only you fucks dragonborns. Thanks. Okay, well that. <laughs> now, now I guess the question is, if you have sex with a dragonborn, does that make you a furry? They're not furry. No, that makes They're scaly. You a scaly. Okay, same difference. Right. Well, oh, somebody's gonna get offended with me for saying that. Maybe it's not the same difference, but I don't know enough about it to differentiate. So that's that's where we're. They are all the same. <laughs> I just I'm surprised between the furry and the cat, there's not a bestiality line because that's what that is. Yeah, pretty much. There should be. There should be a line there. Holy Anyways. crap! Wow, we've gone really we've gone really far into the into the weird territory here. Bring on the hate. <laughs> um, I feed off of it. I feed off the hate. I am the hate. That's why you're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. No <laughs> shit. Um. Diddly doodling each other. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> what? She's just. <laughs> she's just feeding off brainwaves. It's it's not quite the same, but. No. Uh huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm eating brains. What are you doing? Nice. All eating right. Brains. Friends, welcome back. I hope you're all fucking ready for today. No. Probably not, but. I'm not ready for today, so. Yeah, what's the plan, by the way? Are we just, like, turning around and leaving and going back to base camp, or what? Yep. Totally up to y'all. No, I... was kidding. Um, I thought we were doing the <laughs> trials. I mean, we can. I would say let's do the trials, and if we pass, we start headed back to camp. Oh, what's the point in passing the trials and leaving? Um, well, it means we could just saunter on through when we come back through. Or so we think. We don't know. Maybe if we pass the trial, she's like, alright, go die and then that's it. <laughs> well, isn't that the point to ask her? Fair point. <laughs> uh, as a note, by the way, before the long rest, I want to fuck the Shao. Okay. Jao's like getting ready in the room. He's got his armor taken off, and he's he's getting all of his like possessions, uh, just kind of setting them next to the chest rather than in it. Uh, yes. What else? Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Can I can I get you to get, uh, send a sending? Uh, I believe I can. Yes. Um. Okay. Just send it to Anastasia. Tell it's from me. Uh, and tell her I'm very sorry. For whatever the triumvirate put her through, and um, yeah, n name something that can uh, hopefully fix it, and I have a good explanation for it. For telling them. All right, I will uh, convey this information. He sends the sending. Wait a second. Oh, she's mad. Yeah. Oh, she's very mad. Oh, no. Oh, you can't use that language. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Um, She wanted me to inform you that she was going to uh, take your unborn baby and force feed it to you. I deserve this. She, she, she seems a little upset. Just a little bit. Uh, I, I might give her a, a while to cool off from, uh, you know, hating you. Maybe. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen either. <laughs> I suggest you leave her alone. Oh, but I like her. She doesn't like you. The feeling is not mutual. <laughs> mutual. <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, send one more. <laughs> tell her I deserve this. Uh, but I was going to die if I didn't tell them. He uh, he sends that as well. And, uh, she says you should have died. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> I 
All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm going to get some sleep because fucking. If we're going to if we're going to go through some trials or something tomorrow, I really would like to be well rest, well rested. I can't talk today. You'd like to be well rested? <laughs> Not like that. No. Um, I would also like to go talk to the keeper. Okay. Oop, sorry. Just ignore that. You uh. As you you kind of go out into the main area and you attempt to go back to the stairs, uh, you find that there there is a force that seems to stop you, and you hear a voice call from the top of the stairs. Don't come up here. Yes, I know. You can hear the creaking of her metal armor that she wears. She steps down the stairs. Can I help you? Yes, uh, you had mentioned stories before, and I was curious if I could get you to answer some questions. I might be able to. One or two. Um, well, uh, you mentioned that you've been down here for a very long time. Hmm, yes. So... Hmm. Hmm? Who was the last group that was down here? When, rather? The win. Oh, I'd say five, maybe six days. Hmm. That wasn't very long ago. It's unique, too. They must have opened up the entryway somehow. And what about before them? Before them, it had been a long, long time. Can't say, really. Years, at least. Okay, and this group before us, did they wear dragon masks by any chance? They did. Very mm. accomplished individuals. Very rude, but accomplished. And do you happen to know anything about some entity being locked down at the bottom of this place? I only know the information that the Master has given me. No more. So the Master hasn't told you about this, then? Not entirely. I've pieced together bits here and there, and the Master has informed me of some things. But I most ask? I am not a privilege to discuss. Ah. Uh, might I ascertain to your Master's name? my master's name hmm. I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that he's very pushy what about appearance let me say this, I don't believe I'll be able to answer any questions about the Master. He might be an old foggy wart, but I'm still in a partnership of sorts with him. Hmm. Was that all you needed? Yep. Thank you. Of course. Yes. Now, I'm going to go back upstairs and meditate for a while. Get some sleep. You'll need it if you plan to continue. 
I will. She walks back up the stairs using her great sword as a uh, as a kind of cane. Something fucky. Ooh, go back to bed. <laughs> Written by Imna Shyamalan. AKA could have a contingency that could kill her if she attempted to talk about it. Could have a contingency that could kill you. Get on our shit. Exactly. I don't trust her. Hmm. Okay. You can go back to bed. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. I'll just watch this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna lock the door. <laughs> okay. I'm lock the door. You all go to bed? You all finish your long rest? Roll me 67 and counter dice. No, okay. All right. All right. So you all wake up. Um, I don't you... want to roll a single one of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, you all wake up and you have finished your long rest. There's a pleasant smell in the air. And those of you that do creep out of your rooms, fine. <laughs> that would be D12, not D20. I, I know. They would be D20s, to to but... Um, anyways, so those of you that do creep out of your room find that there has been a breakfast laid out. It appears to be uh, mostly just eggs and s the slabs of, of this very um, kind of stringy white meat. Yeah, I'm going to eat. Okay. It's pretty good. It's uh, it's just left out in these two big metal pots, and um, there is uh, there are a couple of wooden bowls laid out with some wooden cutlery. Uh, pretty good. Uh, the meat is re really stringy and kind of tough, <clears throat> but it tastes good at least. the The texture and consistency, eh, the taste, pretty good. Uh, it tastes a lot like um. Uh, this would taste really similar to uh, I also would like veal, to kind of. I'd like to make a note that I put a spell slot, so we're like spell slot. You're, you cut out because you're cutting, you're, you're, you're talking like super low. Uh, no shit. This is why I didn't want to mess with my audio settings. Um, I said, um, I wanted to make a note that I put a warlock spell slot into the platinum. You're still cutting out a bunch. You, you you need to you need to keep the volume all the way through your sentence. Three and forced platinum warlock spell slot before we okay. went to sleep. Okay. You want to turn your ship back up? Go ahead. Just don't vape into the microphone. That's all I'm asking you. It is very loud. Okay. So, what are what are you all doing? You you guys do not see her. Um, you don't really hear her either. There's this food tastes kind of like deer meat. What are you all doing? I'm eating. Okay. You, Amalia, what are you all doing? I'd probably eat as well first. Okay. You, are you doing anything? Going through my bag right now. Okay. And then Zhao gets up and he's like, "Oh, what is this? All right." He takes a big bite and he's like, "That tastes uh, very strange. Not sure if I'm a fan of that." He like sets the meat down and gets some eggs. It's like dear. He kind of blinks for a second. He, oh, right, dear. That's the thing. You guys eat deer here, don't you? Yeah. In Mirvanin, the only people that eat deer are the people near Old Home and the uh, the Riverlands. Uh, I'm from Minon, and we don't eat deer there, deer there at all. There's no deers. Well, I mean, it's in the middle of a desert, so... Exactly. We do have camel. 
Pretty good. Cam I'm, I'm not a camel. It's uh, it's big in in, in juicy and in, in, uh heavy. Very much like a that. big fine steak. Oh, camel steak sounds go so good right now. Oh. We have horses as well, though those aren't as common. But that's about the end of the uh, hoofed animals. Okay, so... Uh-huh. Out of character, do the druids use conjure animals and then kill the animals? No. Once the animals die for conjure animals, their body disappears. Oh damn. No. Okay. <laughs> nope. However, druids and clerics alike can use the create food and water spell. Yeah. Can't they so. summon a cow and milk it? Um, no. Damn. It produces the the animals summoned by conjure animals only take the form of those animals. They're not actually those animals. Oh, okay. No. <clears throat> They're actually like celestial spirits or face face spirits. Damn. Sorry, friend. All right, so you guys finish eating. Um, food settles well in your stomach. And after a little while, she finally comes back down. She... I hope the food was good. It's been a while since I've had to cook any of that. Had some of it frozen in the stores. Ah, oh, yes, it was very good, thank you. Good, good. Are you ready to, uh, are you ready for your trials? Or are you leaving? Actually, about that. If we complete your trials and then decide to leave for a while and come back, do we have to retake the trials? You do not. <gasps> good. Because I don't want to do it more than once. Once you uh, complete the trials, you are cleared by me. You are marked by me. And those with the mark can enter in at any point. Now. Not how. Magically. Anything else that is no. tied to that mark? Nothing. I'm gonna inside check that. Sure. Y'all motherfuckers don't trust anybody. Uh, I wouldn't either. <clears throat> and yet one of you's an ooze and the other one lies to get her away. Like... Yeah, I mean, projection is the most common <laughs> form of, uh, of, uh, oh fuck, what was I saying? Uh, projection is the most common form or most common symptom of guilt. There you go. If, if it helps, the ooze who has been magically bound to her master broke her chains. She don't want to be bound to anyone else unless she wants choke to choke her brains. I mean, I've straight up killed some innocent people, so you know, there's that. Yeah, Rel's kind of psychotic. Yeah. Yeah. You and Rell are over here like, we are murderers, and you is like, well, I'm not super okay with it, but at least I'm free now, and I'm alright. Rell's like, I'm great with it. Amalia is over here like, oh god. <laughs> Rell lacks sympathy. Zhao hasn't even ever actually, like, killed any innocents, and he's over here like, oh, fuck, I made the fucking mistake. Fuck, oh my god, them fucking stupid fuck shit. I need to die. Fuck. All right. Uh, Actually, hmm? I have also killed innocents, so you know. No, that's that's what I'm referring to. Amalia's Amalia's reaction is very different than uh, you, you guys have the scale of reactions going here. It's the oh no to the eh, to the oh yeah. It wasn't oh yeah. It was just. Eh. That happened. Well, oh well. You, you get what I mean. Oh well. What do you mean? Oh well. Yeah, exactly. Nonchalant murder is the same thing as joyous murder. 
You can't just throw Everybody's a fireball out and say I'm sorry. Everybody is guilty of something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's some fucking Watchmen shit right there. <laughs> Everybody's guilty of something in the city. <gasps> fucking... Anyways. I've never actually seen that movie. I just watched it in no Have watch. you never seen Watchmen? I've never seen that movie. Oh, my fucking God. You need to sit down and watch the fuck out of that movie because it's amazing. It doesn't come anywhere near what the comics set up, but um, movies rarely do. So, or in some cases, they're just a lot better. Cough, Marvel. Hot take of the day. All right. Um. So, uh, Uli presents uh, presents the food to you. You guys eat, and then she kind of takes all the all the dishes and gathers them up into one spot. And she just places them at the what edge did of this. From the inside? Oh, sorry. Uh, seems to be truthful. No. Um, she takes all the all the the bowls and cutlery up and sets it on the the side of the stone plinth here. <sighs> all right, trials or leave. You can't stay here any longer, I'm afraid. Oh, the trials. Yeah, so we do the trials while we're here. You just shoves. Then follow me upstairs. Which side is it this way? <laughs> I mean, you guys have already you guys have already voted. Fair. That's a majority vote. Yeah. yeah. So, Shout's just like, all right, I guess we're going to die. Let's go die. <laughs> <laughs> we all go die together. She uh she walks back towards the steps. <laughs> As you all follow her, she stops you just short of the barrier that Rel you experienced earlier. Before you enter in, you should know there is no way back out. You either complete the trials or you die. Make your peace with that. I've got nothing better to do. Yeah, I have experienced death once already. It's fine. She looks to Rel and Jal. Oh, I'm ready to die every day of my life, so, you know, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're going about it? Yeah, you're going to end up dead sooner or later. This one's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you got no idea. <laughs> Zhao's just like, uh, I would really okay. All right. Uh, you know what? Fine. If it's time to die, I suppose it's time to die. There's not a lot I can do about it now because we're already fucking here, and you people are fucking insane. Holy shit! We're like That's sacrificing just... souls, and then we're just... going to go do the trials, and then we're just like, ah, let's. No, we can't just be normal scouts. We have to go do things. Just think of all the riches that could be down there, Zhao. Thank you, you five more drugs. Well! I mean... You, 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 you've got a good... Hmm. You've got a good point. Uh, Alright, let's... Let's just go. Let's hey, just Joe, go. May I say, this is eventually yes. going to give you a serious mental breakdown if you don't confront it sooner or later. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right. You are, uh, you are a very, you are news. Uh, do you, can you even have a mental breakdown? Do you even know what that's like? Yes. I think it's racist. That's Is it racist? racist? <laughs> I think so. Is that some kind of ist? I'm, I'm not, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> well, you need, I'm pretty sure you need a brain to have a mental breakdown. And saying that she can't have a mental breakdown insinuates that she can't have or doesn't have a brain because do she's an ooze. Do you have a brain? Like, do you operate like that? Or is it like some kind of series of like smaller brains? I don't know. I'm just asking. What's the just... best way to explain this to him? Um, <laughs> you definitely don't have a brain. <laughs> um, technically, I 
don't have a brain, but I do, because I learned from other people's memories on how to act and communicate and stuff like that. So, so out of character, oozes work a lot like worms and and other things similar to oozes. Um, they essentially have like a, a central nervous system um, that operates similar to a brain, but not quite the same. Um, and uh, that's really about all there is to it. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. Her entire being is her brain, correct? Because uh, of her central sort of. nervous system. Okay, so that means every time she has sex, someone fucks her brains out. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking aura. There's the comment we were looking for. Holy <laughs> shit. Or no way. Why are you like this? If, if Literally. I'm forms, I'm oh my brain. god. Oh my great good looking. Mind fuck people. Oh my I What is going on right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you I'm mind not... fucking us with a mind fuck joke, really? Yeah. <laughs> why, why are any of you like this? <gasps> I'm going home. You are home. You are home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that we all three said that. <laughs> hey. It's better than the alternative to mind fucking, all right? I don't even know if you can shove a dick in someone's ear. Oh my god, give me curse. <laughs> I gotta go. I mean, she's tentacle, so she actually could. Oh my god. <laughs> she can technically squeeze into inches as small as one inch, or in, into spaces as small as one inch, so, so technically speaking, I mean, my ear hole is not one inch, but I'm pretty sure she could fit in there. Yeah, I've never need. I never. I've never needed a reason to measure it, so I don't know. Well, all you really have to do is bend your index finger and then hold that first that that first joint, not the part where your fingertip is, but like the first joint of your finger up to your ear hole. If that joint is bigger than your ear hole, your ear hole is not an inch. That's an inch. That's an inch. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Wait, you didn't know that? No. Nope. Heather, you live in the United States. I didn't know that either, and I live in the United States. What the fuck? I feel like that's not an inch. It's an inch. If you bend your finger... Guys, I have a ruler. It's fine. Yeah, go ahead and measure it. <laughs> Wait, so so the, the space between the first... The, the two knuckles, the joint yeah, and the... Yeah, knuckles. the first joint and the second joint. Not counting the nail, right? Uh... Right, it's not the one with the nail. It's the one between the first joint and the second joint. That's an inch. The first joint and the second joint on... On Dude, your index it's an finger. Inch. Yeah. It's almost exactly the same for almost every human on the planet. Almost. What the fuck. Yeah. That's creepy. Yeah, if oh. you don't have a ruler, you can just get a pencil and like measure your finger joints. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like just barely over an yeah, inch. Yeah, it's not but super it's an precise, but it's pretty close. Wow. All right. I'm glad I can teach people things still. I'm glad I'm not totally useless. All right. Like the imperial system. I hate, I hate all science. All science should die. I'm just kidding. All right. No. Is that how they figured out how long an inch should be? Uh, No, more than likely. It was like someone literally just eyeballed something and they were like, that's our unit of measurement. Because that's pretty much what happened with a stone. A British stone. It's like 14.8 pounds or some shit. <laughs> someone picked up a stone and was like, yep. Wait, like, much this? this is a system of measurement now. All right. People All right. Are weird. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just a bunch of weird shit. All right. So uh, trials, it is. I guess we're doing the trials. Holy shit! <laughs> we just um, did the mind anyway, trials. Joe. So. Yes. Hello. What? Technically. Sorry, I, I was having a fever dream. I think. Technically, my whole being is my brain. If you think about it. So, like, when you and another person, like, you know, have, have like, <laughs> please don't you know, go like, there. It's it's mind fucking, right? <laughs> sure. Sorry, I mean, Zhao has to meta the joke. I know. <laughs> it's the only way forward. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> 
Only right. would have gone. Sure. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I think I'm ready to die after that piece of information, so let's go. Uh, you follow her up the stairs. There are braziers with incense, and you feel just a little bit, uh, just a little bit rejuvenated when you cross them. Are you okay? You need to no, breathe. I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. No, it's okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> now I'm curious. Okay. <laughs> if it's too bad, <laughs> say it in private chat. <laughs> you said braziers, and yeah. for some oh, reason, after that, <laughs> after that conversation of a joke, it popped into my uh... head that. Will used to get braziers and braziers mixed braziers, up. Yeah, I know. I think I was the one that corrected that a long time ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember you going, wait, it's braziers? I'm like, yes. You're like, I'd say brazier. Oh, God. I'm like, no, friend. No, friend. That's the porn website. That's also a bra. It is a bra. <laughs> I had I'm to make sorry. the joke that it was the porn website first, though, because it's like, if you don't make that joke. All right. Anyway, so you you all follow her. Pronounced brazers or brazers? It might be brazers. I don't know. I think it's brazers. Is it? I can proudly I say know. I only I know of them from their logo. Because I like to use their logo for everything. Oh. <laughs> it's really good. It's a great logo. Mostly just because if you use either the brazers or the uh, the Pornhub logo for anything. It doesn't matter what it is, it makes it like 20 times funnier, I promise. I want to open up a business one day and just copy the Pornhub logo and my business is just like a pizza parlor. It's just like Pizza Hub. <laughs> Anyways, oh, so... God. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this is D&D, &D, folks. This, is... <laughs> this campaign has really just gone off the rails. <laughs> Uh, you you follow Yulai up the stairs, and uh, you find that as you as you cross the the braziers, you feel a little reinvigorated. Um, all of you currently have one luck that you can use. It expires um, after the uh, basically after the trials, so use it at some point during the trials. What's the luck for? You get to reroll one uh, d20 roll at any point. That you make. <clears throat> oh, so if you fail a saving throw, if you fail like an attack roll, um, etc., etc., etc. We don't have a bard, do we? No, we don't. Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do that. Nope. Well, technically, you's eventually gonna go into bard, like two points, but I don't. Think oh yeah, because you were flirting with the bard. Yeah. All right. Uh, you reach the top of the stairs, and there is a wide brown and yellow curtain which Yulai draws back and reveals inside a wide open room with a dais that leads up to a large stone altar. On the altar are a series of figurines, each one very different than the previous. You can't get a great glimpse of them from when you first enter the room, but just from your uh, passive perceptions and your, your location into the room and the little bit of light that is here, you... um you do note that there is a like carved figurine of a dragon on the table there's also one of this this billowing mass it almost looks like a cloud but in the darkness it's really hard to see because it's painted pure black uh, you enter in on to your right there are a series of windows um, each of the windows has a small lantern hanging in it and each of them look out on the area that you've come from, the, the like, wide stone path. As you enter in, Yulai approaches the stone altar, and she shifts some figurines around. And the trial is so simple. Takes her greatsword, and she sweeps it through the air and <laughs> slams it down in front of her. And you watch the this pulse come from the great sword, and suddenly her size just increases and increases until she's standing not five or six feet tall, but 12, 13, 14 feet tall. Oh no. 
she draws a huge breath and stretches. You can hear what sounds like bones cracking inside as she does so, and armor creaking against itself. <sighs> Takes her great sword and plants it on the ground in front of her again. You simply must defeat me. Oh. This isn't what I was expecting. I this should've. isn't what anyone's expecting. But you're here now. Told you appearances are deceiving. Uh, well. Just nothing. I haven't lied to you. No, I meant your size, darling. No, no. This isn't my normal size, I assure you. I can only keep this up for a short period of time. Oh, so we just wait and then beat you then? Of course. If you would like to try that. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna let us Both of the that. curtains slide shut, and you look look back, and the curtains have formed into solid stone wall. Yeah, she's not gonna let us do that. Uh, what's this down here? They're, those are the windows that look out over the other area. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oops. She takes a couple of steps forward. Hoists her great sword up. I wish you the best of luck. Don't die. I like you. And roll initiative. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. You guys, stop. Oh, uh, hold on. He rolled an 18 first. Oh, oh she rolled so low. What? Yeah. What happened to me? Oh no. What happened to you? What'd you roll? Uh, 15? 15 point, oh, 14. Yeah, it popped up. Yes, I did. It popped I up. I just rerolled your initiative and you rolled exactly the same thing. Yes. Are you sure that's not All right, broken? cool. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, is that is that everything rolled? Okay. Of course, the healer goes first again. Oh this no! This is when bad what things is, happen. Every what time is up with Zhao? first. I know, right? All right. Uh, as you lie, horse or great sword, you see uh, swirling around it. Currently, is this uh, this flame that just starts to appear out of the air. And she gives out this bellow and begins charging down the stairs. Uh, it's Zhao's turn. Uh, well, I mean, Zhao with Tanakh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna bonus action shield to fake himself. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Oh, yeah. He's gonna, mm -hmm. he's gonna, uh, battle. This, this orange you just gained plus two to AC. Yeah. No. Yep, and it's concentration. Yep. We will put that there. Alright. Uh, I think he's gonna move up here, I guess. And he's gonna. He's gonna do jaw things, I guess. He's just like, ah! Okay. Alright, uh, swings and misses. Uh, she takes the great sword and with the pommel to flex the blow, and then uh, she's gonna go ahead and use Repost, and she's gonna make an attack against Zhao. Oh no. I thought that was repost. It's repost. Okay. Oh no. Uh, ooh, she's actually gonna miss too, though. Um, she takes the pommel and bats the mace out of the way, and then brings her greatsword down, but Zhao raises up a shield and takes the, takes the blow to the shield, but you actually see the shield dent just a little bit. Oh no. He's just like, oh, she's really strong. Oh my god. And Yen. Uh, first of all, that fucking shield of faith saved his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yen is gonna take the last dose of the poison and dip me a bolt. Okay. And then she's gonna put the vial back. <laughs> okay. And then she is going to fly back here. She's gonna do that little uh, that yep. little flutter flutter. Yep. Okay. Uh, she's gonna take an attack of opportunity no, with no. Eli's second reaction. Nope. Why? Because I wanted to do this away from her. Does she have that movement? Yes, she has 60 feet, I'm pretty sure. She has 30 S feet, babe. 60 feet of fly. 
Really? Yes. Okay, that's fine. It's 15 for walking. That works. Okay, is that the end of her turn? Yep. Perfect. Is, this, is that within 10 feet, though? Hold on. Nope, it's just outside. Okay. All right, and it is Amalia's turn. Go up and one-shot her. <laughs> do, do warlock things. <laughs> I made a mistake. All right. Um. That's what everyone that's, uh, that comes in here says. That's what she said. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, we're good. Everything's fine. I Everything's don't... fine. Everything's fine in here. Don't worry about it. All right, what are you doing, Amalia? I'm gonna choke and die. Um, that's uh, that's usually what I do on the daily. So, I bring up my great sword and I'm gonna put Hexblade's curse on her. Okay. She is cursed. Let's, let's maybe have some fun and not die. Ooh! All right, both of those actually hit. Ten and eleven. Cool. And that that does include your uh, your yeah. proficiency already. Okay. Cool. So uh, you reach out one hand, summoning the great sword as it appears in your hand. The other hand, this uh, this kind of um, shadowy fire shoots off of your hand and it covers her and uh, a bunch of phoenix feathers appear around her. Um, you take your great sword and just swing downwards once and then across the chest twice and two phoenix feathers explode near her uh, in this kind of burst of uh, shadow and fire and uh, she uh, she takes a little bit of damage here. She actually looks like she got, she got hurt somewhat. However, as you do this, she kind of stumbles forward. Oh. <sighs> been a long time since I fought another blade wielder and she wields, she hefts her great sword and is that the end of your turn? Maybe, yeah. Okay, she's going to use a paragon action and she is going to uh, she's going to take her turn now. Okay. Um, she takes her great sword and meets yours with it, slides it straight down the great sword and straight towards your shoulder. Um, that's going to be a 23 to hit. Oh yeah, that, that's going to hit. Okay, and um, as that one hits, she takes uh, takes the great sword back and just strikes you straight in the face with the pommel, and that's going to be a twenty to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and then she takes one of one of her giant iron booted feet and just kicks you straight in the stomach. Uh, make me an athletics or an acrobatics check. Your choice. She that was a twenty-two. So, um, great sword hits the shoulder, just slices open a huge part of your shoulder, and you are going to take. Uh, hold on, I need I need calculators. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you're going to take uh, thirteen. You're going to take seventeen points of damage. However, part of that is reduced. So. Okay, so you're going to take 15 points of damage because uh, four of that that original 17 was radiant. So 15 total points of damage for the first strike. Oh, for the first strike. All right. <laughs> the great sword. Uh, the great sword slashes across your shoulder, and you watch the fire just expand in this huge white flash of light. And then the pummel strike hits you in the face, uh, knocking you backwards temporarily for a second, kind of almost stunning you. Uh, that one is going to be uh, another 15 points of damage. And then uh, the third one, she kicks you straight in the chest, and she just sends you flying. You're knocked back five feet. Okay. Okay, and that is her paragon action. She Bring out your best, because it's not going to be enough, and turns around and wheels straight towards Zhao. Rel, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to do Rel things, and... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna first off, I'm gonna move 15 feet down here and cower okay. in this fucking corner. As you do. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call like. Okay, go for it. Go 
All right. Um, let's see. That is a deck save. Mm -hmm. She's not great at these, but she's okay at them. Let's find out. She fails this one. Uh, she is going to use... Ooh, no. Yep, she's, she, she fails this one. Okay. So, 16 points of lightning damage. Does, does that get a bonus if they're wearing metal? I can't remember. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. 16 points of lightning damage. Still at a decent chunk. Uh, lightning strikes down on top of her, and she uh, she takes it and <sighs> takes the great sword. Um, you see behind her, her mask, there's just this, like, kind of roiling flame almost at this point. Uh, and uh, do you have anything else you're doing? No. Okay. You. You is going to double on the dash. Okay. That's a bonus action. Level her crossbow. And pray this hits because I was going to attempt to hide, but I can't at this point. Okay. Okay. Wish me good luck. Nope. Oof. Fuck. Nope. You do have a luck point if you want to try to reroll it. Okay, I'll try to reroll it. Okay. 16. 16 still wouldn't hit, unfortunately. <laughs> the bolt goes wide and clatters against the wall. Okay, I'm going to... Bonus action... Sanctuary, Jow. Didn't you bonus action a dash? Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you did. So that's the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, it is Eli's turn. She gets her Paragon action back, and um, she's going to go ahead and she looks around the room. She takes her great sword, and then she puts uh, one hand out towards you, Rel. I need you to go ahead and make me a uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's not going to cut it. Um, you watch as she flings this hidden chain just out from underneath her... Uh, her, her robes that are covering her armor and the, the chain actually manages to wrap around your leg and she just tugs right then and you feel yourself being pulled towards her uh, she's gonna pull you oh yeah she's definitely not you there and you're just pulled right no up towards way. her oh hell yeah you're pulled right up towards her and she is going to go ahead and uh, I need you to make me a strength save God. Yup. Nope. So you are stunned as you're pulled uh, straight towards Can I towards Hellish Rebuke the initial chain? Uh, it's not an attack roll. It's an ability. It's a saving throw, so I don't think so. It didn't do any damage to you. So. Yeah, it doesn't do damage. You're, you've taken no damage this round. So, no. Um, as it wraps around your leg, pulls you towards her, and she headbutts you right as you arrive. And you're just stunned until the end of your next turn. Okay, does being stunned drop concentration? Uh, I don't actually know. Um, hold on. I don't think it does. Stunned. Um, oof, I think so. Let's see, creatures incapacitated see the condition. Uh, no, it does not. Only paralyzed us. Okay. Yep, incapacitated doesn't drop stun. Incapacitated just, you can't take actions or reactions. So, uh... Creature, creature automatically fails, strength and deck saves, and attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So no, you keep your concentration. And you take no damage, so technically you don't need to make a concentration check. Yeah. So, Alright, and that is actually the end of her turn. So, uh... <laughs> as she pulls you to towards her, she goes, Get over here and fight! And it's Zhao's turn. Um, <laughs> well, if she hits me, I die. <laughs> she doesn't. I, Probably. Um, she hit a Molya twice and did like 30 damage, so. Zhao's gonna cast Hold Person. Ooh, that's interesting. Good. Okay. Do it. Do it. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, this is a really weird... I will allow this to work. Normally, this would instantly fail. I will allow this to work, but she gets advantage on the save. She is yeah. not She is not a humanoid. But I will allow it, because she kind of almost is. Okay. 
Um, it's DC 13. DC 13, and it's a wisdom save? She's uh, not proficient. Yes, it's a wisdom save. She has a plus two. Let's find out what happens. Nope, that's a seven. She's paralyzed. Hey! Is it a paralyzed? Yeah, it's fucking paralyzed. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, You watch the chain that's around your leg also drop as a note. Uh, she's paralyzed. She just kind of sits there for a second. <gasps> oh, you tricky fucker. Hold her still. All right. Um, she is considered paralyzed. She, uh, let's see. She's not immune to this condition, which is also very strange, but incapacitated, can't move or speak. She can, she can definitely t- still speak because she doesn't need muscles to do so. Um, attack rolls against a creature have advantage. All the... Oh fuck! Oh, all right, all right. She's paralyzed. Oh fuck! That's that's big. Um, yeah. Zhao yeah. just. Oh, he's there. Zhao reaches out, he drops the mace for a second, and then just reaches out and slams a hand on her breastplate, and he goes, "Stay still," and she t- locks up for a second. Okay. Um, what were the rules for double ca- using a bonus action spell if you've already cast a spell in this campaign? Technically speaking, you you have to use a cantrip. Okay. Yeah, Ashwinter was the one where you could go second level or lower. Okay, all right, so then yes. you can't do anything else. Okay. And uh, he also drops concentration on shield of faith. Right. Yeah, yeah, I figured, but he's now concentrating on whole person. So. Yeah. Um. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All right. It's Yen's turn. Yen is going to stay behind this Elias. Just kind of shift around. Okay. Amalia. All right. Upon seeing that, um, I'm gonna cast Hex on her. Oh. Well, she. Okay. Yeah, and Hexblade's curse isn't concentration, right? Got it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. She is uh-huh. now also hexed. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna mark her with death. Call Doctor Deletus. <laughs> um. What? Tries disadvantage. Oh, it's just ability checks. I'll just go with strength then. Okay. Um. Do it. Uh, the 19 hits. 19 hits. 20 also hits. 19 just barely hits. Jesus. Uh, side note, these are automatic critical hits. Oh, they are? God. Yep, she's yes. paralyzed. Um, oh. So, give me a second here. You rolled two fours, so that is eight, that is 16. Okay, so that's plus 8 damage on both of them. So that is plus 16 damage in total. And go ahead and roll me two more hexes, please. What have you done? That's so much damage. <laughs> that is two max damage hexes. That is 65 points of damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well... Oh, holy fucking shit. She is bloodied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's insane. Fucking old person with a blade lock in your party might be terrifying. <laughs> and you also have a rogue. This is going to get so dirty. I'm not ready for this. All right. Uh, yeah, just... Just so y'all know, any any attack in melee that hits her is an automatic critical hit. So, point of order. Um, Amalia, is that at the end of your turn? You just take your great sword and you just, and you actually cut straight through part of the armor, and there's no blood. None. Can I just can I just do two more attacks? No. Okay. Do you have action surge? No. 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 Before you hit level 20 in Warlock, take two points in Fighter and just action surge. You're just a fighter now with spells. <laughs> um, all right, Rel, it's now your turn. Well, I'm stunned, so... Right, so the uh, the stun on you ends now. <laughs> yeah, the, the temporary paralysis from having your head nearly smashed in by, like, essentially a five-foot-tall iron is gone. Uh, she's also stunned in front of you, and that's the end of your turn. You. Yeah. Okay. You is going to go up right behind her. It's such an Ace Ventura well already then moment. <laughs> and she kind of pops her knuckles. Um, melee 
or let's figure out what she is. What well, what are you talking about? Devour Tell memories. Her. Just just okay. Can you devour memories as an action or is it a like um, casting time? She's paralyzed. I could do it instantly. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> do do what you want to do. Um I'm just I'm going to summon spiritual weapon and I'm going to attack with that and my dagger. You have a spiritual weapon? Wait, do yep. I? Wait, wait, wait. Are you high enough level in Warlock? No, no I'm not. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, Raven Queen Warlock gets spiritual weapon as part of um, one of their second level spells. Okay, I'm going to do, yep, this. Okay, 16. Doesn't hit. Just not having a good, you're not having a good round. You you, you think you find a chink in the armor and you go up underneath it and it, it doesn't. It seems ineffective. Okay, I dash back. Okay. I'm not going to stay close. <laughs> Just in case. Um, it's Uli's turn. Uh, does she get a save at the end of her turn? She uh, does. Let's see. Um, let's see. At the end of each of his turns, uh, yep. can make another wisdom saving throw. She's going to try to break the save. Nope. nope. Um, She's going to use Indomitable and reroll. That's a nine. Motherfucking bitch. <laughs> Holy! All right, she's still paralyzed. She tries to move. You you see her armor creak, and she she almost seems to be trying to turn towards Zhao, and you see just this little bit of movement, and even Zhao's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, and then she just stops, and she. I don't like this. <laughs> All right, it's Zhao's turn. You picked a uh, fight with the wrong people. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Zhao's gonna make squad. a melee attack. Um, that's a twelve, so that misses. That's a miss. Yeah, uh, he's in a spiritual weapon. Sure, that doesn't require concentration. Yeah, well, that's a nineteen. Okay. Um, we're gonna hit her up with another Uli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Nineteen does hit, just barely. All right, so that's uh nine plus another seven if we're just doubling the damage die. Yeah, we'll just double damage. All right. Um, so that is uh, that is 16, 16 points of damage. Yeah. Nice. She's still standing for sure. But as the um, <laughs> as the uh, as the 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 massive mace slams into her, she she's looking pretty hurt. Okay. Okay. Here's the conditions: stunned, grappled, restrained, asleep, or incapacitated. Oh, so paralyzed isn't one of those. Well, no, paralyzed applies stunned. Yeah. So, I think no. Or is it incapacitated? Paralyzed applies incapacitated. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. All right, Ian. Uh, Ian is just gonna stay there. Okay. Kind of in her little nook. Kind of peeking over the thing, kind of watching like, ooh, this is getting nasty. Do you think she's done yet? <laughs> she's just like, I'll sit here forever. <laughs> Alright, uh, Amalia. Okay. Oh, the 14 actually misses, but the 20 hits. Can I, can I reroll the second one? Sure. Got your luck point. Oof. 21 hits. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just do this. All right. Uh, so. Woo! And hex. Yeah, that, that was, was hex. That was hex. Oh, okay. I didn't want to push it four times. I just rolled a forty-six. That's, that's plus seven plus. Let's see. Seven plus six is. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Another fifty-two points of damage. No problem. <laughs> This is what happens when you let me crit every time I hit. <laughs> hold person. This is why. This is why uh, paladins prepare hold person. By the way, um, and some paladins, uh, if you're playing a Sorkadin, you go, um, you uh, you quicken spell hold person, and then you just beat the shit out of somebody in melee range. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Anyways, um, yeah. So as your sword uh, finds perfect chinks in the armor. Um, with her, with her unable to react, it's it's really just easy. 
However, something happens. This roiling flame, as you as you land your second strike, this roiling roiling flame just seems to build within her, and she's, you shouldn't have done that, and she explodes outwards. This flame that kind of built inside her this whole time, now explodes outwards. I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, not all of you. Uh, it's only people within ten feet of her. So okay, good. Yeah. I'm probably unconscious. I deserve this. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I have done nothing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'll use my luck point. Please. Okay, use your luck point. Please! <laughs> Shout to. Uh, Shout to use his luck point. Okay. okay. Please! <laughs> <laughs> now I can't save. I don't know if you're going to take it yet. You, 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 don't, you don't need a con save yet. I don't know if you'll still be alive after this, so... Um. <laughs> okay, so you all take 10 points of fire damage. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, radiant damage, not fire. Oh, so I get to take radiant five. Damage. Sure. Uh, radiant damage, 10 points, and... Uh, yep, alright. That's gone. That's for Ralph. Alright, shall keep this, we're good. What were you concentrating? Oh yeah, you were concentrating Call on Call Lightning. Alright. Alright, um, so Rel, Call, Call Lightning drops, and Amalia, con save from you as well, please. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about Hex. You're fine. Ah, uh, yeah, you keep it. <clears throat> and... I knew there had to be more. All of the phoenix feathers around her disappear. <laughs> and she cracks her armor forwards. A couple of pieces of her armor fall off, revealing bone underneath. Oh no. And she starts moving again. Oh no. All conditions are wiped from her, and any spell that she is currently affected by ends immediately. Oh no. Motherfucker. Paragon actions. They're cool. Uh, uh all right. <sighs> I think it's time to up the ante. Amelia, is that the end of your turn? Oh, no, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yamate. Yamate. She's going to take a swipe um, first at... Well, Zhao can Zhao can go ahead and and unmark yeah. his, uh, yeah. his thing. She's gonna go ahead and take a swipe first at Amalia, because Amalia's shield. fucking her shit up. Okay. <laughs> um, shield did not save you in this case. That's gonna oh, no. be, yeah, that's going to be, uh, a ten and a six, but the six is halved, so that's thirteen Ooh, points of damage. Mother of God, am I reading that right? Is that a thirty-four? How much? It's not a thirty-four. It's a twenty-four. Okay. I can barely see it. To How 24. Much? Uh, you're gonna take, uh, 13 total points of damage. Yeah, I'm only gonna take 10. Uh, oh, oh, oh? I am unconscious. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> well then. <laughs> I guess players just get to decide then. That's fine. Alright, uh, so Amalia just falls. I wanna survive with one health, please. <laughs> she takes the, she takes the momentum of that swing, turns around, and she strikes at you, Rel. No, wait, please. <laughs> Uh, 21 to hit? I have 13 AC right now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have mage armor on! <laughs> I keep forgetting you're not a draconic sork. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Um, okay, so... Please! Yeah, you're, you're gonna I've done seven, nothing! 17 points of damage Ow! Roll. <laughs> um, and she will carry the strike through over to Zhao. She just <laughs> takes her greatsword and arcs in this huge windmill. Um... Okay. She's gonna miss Zhao. Zhao. Zhao actually manages to like oh, put his shield up, like oh, <laughs> nearly gets knocked to the side. <sighs> I do not fall for petty tricks. I overcome them. And she hoists her great sword in preparation for what else is to come. Um, Rel, it's now your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this thing, okay? And it's called mirror image. Uh, <laughs> probably smart. <laughs> I'm gonna mirror image, and before I do it, I'm gonna move my bonus action and move ten feet back. Uh, fuck all this noise. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> she takes an attack of opportunity. No, anyway. Oh, she fucking does it. Oh, I'm still with it. <laughs> she technically Hold could on. have, actually. Hold on. I'm going to move mm -hmm. five feet back first. Uh, okay. <laughs> then use my bonus action before the spell. She could still take an attack of opportunity right now. I haven't left her. Right now. It's, what, not about um... leaving, it's not about leaving her reach. Fuck! It's Tunnel Fighter, bitch. <laughs> no, it's not Tunnel Fighter oh either. Well, I'm gonna do that. Does okay. she have Sentinel? Actually, nope. mirror image beforehand, then afterwards. Okay. Do that. Cool, 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 cool. Does she, does she take it? Yeah. yeah, she's gonna take it. She's gonna take it. So, uh, there's this really cool feat called Mage Slayer. Oh. Um, yeah. So if somebody casts a spell while they're within her range, she can make an opportunity attack against her, against them. Also, uh, she doesn't have the disadvantage on concentration part of this. So she feat. couldn't have then. Why? Because I moved ten feet before I cast the spell. Hmm. Okay, that's actually a fair point. Hmm. All right. All right then. Keep your secret. <laughs> that's that's a fair argument actually <laughs> it is worded it is worded that way and i will yeah. accept this unfortunate okay. unfortunate all right you all right. you she takes a swipe and you just get out of the way she's like ah, you're fast all right so that's 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 empty all right and i'm gonna okay. move uh, i'll move 20 feet back into my fucking corner <laughs> <laughs> just gonna zip out zip, 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 zip. uh and and uh that that's that's my turn Okay. Can you link your uh, Can you link your ability to let you do that real quick? I just want to read. <laughs> just want to read that because that's weird. That's an That's an interesting interaction I've never encountered before. Uh, Mage Slayer. Yep. Go away. Yeah. Immediately before or after you cast a spell, before you cast a spell would be before the spell slot's actually consumed. That's interesting. Okay. Sure. That's above board, I guess. Hmm. Storm Sorcerer fucks on Mage Slayer. All right, got it. Good to know. Um, <laughs> it is good to know. Thank you. <laughs> that's interesting. I've never ran into that interaction before. Uh, you, it's it's your turn, I believe. Uh, um, yeah. Also, in case you guys, in case you guys haven't noticed, Paragon monsters have become my favorite thing to use. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> she also hit me for fifty percent of my health. <laughs> yeah. One hit. Yep. She has three attacks a turn. It was just one hit. <laughs> yeah. uh, She's a pretty high CR. A pudding. I don't think uh, stealth will work here, since I'm still in the open. Uh, um, <clears throat> Her back is to you, technically speaking, and she's distracted. I'll allow a stealth check. I'll allow a hide check, but it's going to be a disadvantage. Is that acceptable? You're kind of hiding out in the open, so it's it's pretty difficult to say you can, you're hiding here. You could potentially I, maybe get behind like that stone plinth or something, but I don't know. Yeah, that's too close for to her for comfort. <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> I'll just take the you. attack. Okay, that hits. You do get all your all your riders here. Uh, 20 points of damage, nice. Whoosh, an arrow sinks in and you hear the, the crunch of bone un up underneath it. <clears throat> Is that the end of your turn? He moves here. I kind of want... I kind of want... Hmm. Um, I don't actually... Is that the end of your turn? Would I still... Okay. Uh, um, if you'd give me a minute, I'm just in the middle of checking something, you jerk. Then you should have answered me. If I ask you a question, you got to answer it. Never mind. Okay. All right. So, uh, Uli's turn. Uli is going to. <clears throat> the arrow. Rel gets away from her. She can only get one of you if she if she uses this. But then she's also got Zhao in front of her. I know what she's gonna do. Okay, um, Yulai takes her greatsword and arcs it over, and she takes a swipe at Zhao. Um, 
That's going to be a 28 to hit, so that is a total wow. of... what? Yeah. Yep, 28 to hit. Uh, 14 shit. points of damage. Yeah, you guys fought, are fighting her a little earlier than you really should have, but it's okay. You guys skipped the Shadow Room. Experience is important. Uh, um, not my fault. I wanted to go do the other it's places. Okay. It's okay. Uh, 14 points of damage to Zhao. Yeah, he and, it. Okay, and then she's going to take her second attack, and she's going to hit Amalia. Oh, no. Uh, oh, fuck. That's a 10 and a 12. Even with advantage, it misses. Wow. Yep. And then, uh, Amalia, when did you cast shield? Uh, was it this round? Yeah. So, does shield drop if you die? It's not concentration. I think, because I know my, um, my blink, blink didn't goes. drop. Okay. All right. I, I will say it persists until what would be your next turn, then. In this instance, shield saves you. She doesn't land either hit. Cool. So both hits just clatter off the arcane ward. And she looks over to Zhao and she goes, you should save your friend. And Zhao's turn. Guess what he's doing? Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's saving Amalia. Uh, he, he's going to use his action to use his okay. channel divinity. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Are you going to channel divinity Amalia back to half health? Uh-huh. All right, so Amalia, you are at half health. Uh, and so is Zhao, right? 20... Zhao's well, he's above half health. That's only if he casts a spell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do need to figure out something. Is it rounded up or down? Uh, down. All right. I'm exactly at half health. She literally is exactly half my health. You don't have exact exact half. You have 33 max HP. I know, but I can't be restored up with it. Right, fair. Okay. And that's his action. Is he doing anything else? Uh, yeah, he's going to bonus action attacker. Okay. With uh... Bonus action with spiritual, spiritual weapon. weapon. Go ahead and roll it. That's a nine. That's a nine. It doesn't hit. She she just bats the weapon away this time. She's ready for it. Uh, and... At the end of Zhao's turn, she's going to go ahead and take her Paragon action. Or no, she can't take another one. That's, that was her last Paragon action she could take. So no, she doesn't get another one. Fucking shitballs. All right, it's Yin's turn. Um, okay. Let's see. Yen is taking a risk here, and Yen is just going to plop on Amalia and help her with her one of her attacks. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so uh, Amalia, you have advantage on your next attack against Uli. Hi. Uh, okay. okay. Um, didn't we talk about Yen using the help action? Uh, she has standard action, help, dash, or disengage. Right, but didn't we talk about her using it on on weapon attacks? How she could only use it on skills? I have absolutely no idea. All right, we'll let it go for now. We'll talk about it later. Because okay. I did I did mention this to you at one point that she's not supposed to do this, but it's fine. So, Amalia, you have advantage, um, and Amalia, it's your turn. All right. Um. Do I want to do that? Wait. Ho. Oh. Oh. Alright. There's another fucking crit. Also, your hex did drop, so. Yeah, yeah hex did drop. Okay. Ruthless, uh. Ruthless hex did. Uh, no, I don't she know got rid of everything on oh, her. Yeah. yeah, every. All, all effects on her and all spells currently active on her ended. So. Okay. Oh! That's. Interesting, actually. I didn't think of this interaction, but um, she actually shrinks. I didn't think about that. Oh. Yeah, she had enlarge on her. Mm. Um. Oh. Uh, add two points back to Zhao's health. Okay. So I'm just gonna move him up here because he would have. But actually, no, he can stay right there. I didn't well, think about that. He would have moved up. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, she she shrinks down um, at when all when all of that happens. Huh. Okay. Uh, Thirteen plus seven is twenty fucking points of damage. Not bad. She's starting to look hurt again. Um, she's she's moving a little bit slower, but she's still fighting for sure. And Amalia's at the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. And Ralph. No, that's an action. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call lightning on her. Okay. <laughs> Drop it right there on top of the spiritual weapon because it doesn't have a health okay. bar. Spiritual weapon takes the lightning and directs it towards her. Um, yes. <laughs> that's 22 lightning damage. Oh my god. All right. Uh, deck save. That is a four. Um, she's going to use her last point of indomitable and reroll that. No. Yes. She gets two indomitable a day. God damn it. She's using them. No. That is a save. She takes 11 oh, points. Ha -ha. Damn it. <laughs> um, the, the, the mace takes the, takes the lightning and basically acts as a conduit and uh, it just effectively turns her and the mace into a spark gap as this arc lightning just... And she, uh, she, she doesn't quite shrug it off, but she does kind of ignore it for a moment as she seems to be very focused on Jao and Amalia in front of her. Fuck! All right, well, that's, that's the end of my turn. That's her last indomitable for the day. Uh, you. Who's going to do this? 21? Okay, 21 definitely Oops, hits. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Double crit. Yeah. <laughs> that was On two rolls that didn't yeah. exist. Well, one roll that didn't exist. Your advantage didn't exist either, technically speaking. <laughs> um, let's see. Plus... 4 plus 9 is uh, 13. Oof, brain just stopped functioning there for a second. Uh, 13 points of damage to her as the bolt oof, pierces into the armor from behind. Uh, she glances back at you for a second, and you see her let go of her greatsword, and there's just a chain hanging from her, her hand. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, does she do it, though? Let me, please... God, it takes a whole action to do that, and it doesn't do any damage, so I'm like, mm. <laughs> Okay, one second. I haven't finished my turn, and thank you for switching oh, the tracker. Oh, go ahead. Jerk. Uh, I never know when your turns are done. You don't say anything. It's because I'm calculating. You cast Sanctuary on Amalia. Okay. And then she has, uh, she was right here. Does that only go away on hostile actions? Hostile yes. actions, yep. And then you right. move here. Okay. And it's utilized. And Uli is gonna go ahead and. She hasn't fucked with you yet. Fucking hell. Okay. How much is her HP? Alright, she takes the chain and she throws it out towards you. You make me a deck save. 24. Plop, fuck you. Um, <laughs> you just does a flip and says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you just literally do a standing flip and the chain returns. And she's just like... <sighs> and that's the end of Eli's turn. It's a very saver suck ability. What is this? Stitches 2.0 or something? Alright, here goes Zhao. Oh god. There we go. Alright. Zhao's gonna, Zhao's gonna yeah. mace her. Show me what you got. <laughs> well, he's gonna miss. <sighs> yeah, he's gonna miss. He's gonna miss. Alright. He, he, oh, uh, uh, I'm going to like bite it. you. Uh, no, I'm not. Fuck. <laughs> she has very thick armor, guys. She's very hard to hit. No yeah, spiritual weapon. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that crit. Oh. Oh, 10 points of damage still, still. Um, the mace slams into her from behind. It, like, Zhao runs up and then hits her with the mace and she just looks down at him and almost kind of chuckles for a second before the other mace that's the same size as her just crashes into her from behind and she's almost knocked off her feet. Uh, Yin's turn. Hmm. Hmm. Which way is she facing? 
Uh, she's currently looking directly at. Uh, she's looking. She'd technically, be looking at you right now. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna do a disengage and go back here. Okay. All right. And you disengage first. Yeah. Okay. Because she'll hit you. She'll do it. Uh, Amalia. I don't. I don't. No. How is she looking? Um, rough, but not. She's definitely not on her last legs. Unless she managed to land like three crits or some shit. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's always that happen. You do some fucking stupid ass fucking warlock shit, so. Psst, if she's facing me, you still have advantage on the attacks. Yeah, if you move directly I... behind her. Alright, you two need to stop, alright? <laughs> and Will's saying the same thing in direct messages. <laughs> <laughs> God. Calm. You're so tense. what is Amalia doing? You do have you do have sanctuary. So she is looking towards. She is looking directly at you right now. So right there. Sure. You want to? <laughs> are you gonna go hard? Are you gonna try to kill her? Uh, I don't like it when you ask me that. Are question. you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Do it. <laughs> no. All right, then run. Flee, you fools. Oh, All right. That's the wrong button. So, tw 22 hits, uh, the other one does not. Alright, 15 points of slashing damage. And your sanctuary is gone? <laughs> Straight across the back. And your sanctuary is gone. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Alright, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Well, it's now your turn, huh? Well, we're gonna call lightning again. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing real things. That's a 13. Alright. Mm, save. Dexterity. That's another save. Uh, half of 13 is... Six. Six points of lightning damage. <laughs> um, she is, at this point, considered bloodied. She's starting to look pretty rough. She's, or she's getting more sluggish, and this light that's pulsing from inside the armor is slowly dying out. You. Okay, he's going to shoot a bolt at her. 21. He's gonna shoot a bolt, huh? 21 hits. Do you know what the last... Your third I... crit in a row? Yeah, it is. Oh, one second. Okay, it's 23, and then I just rolled two 21s. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... 5 points of damage, and then 11 points of damage total. Not bad, looking pretty good there. You is going to do this throw sanctuary on Amalia and then bolt the other way. <laughs> Alright, and it is, we're finally back to Yulai's turn, and Yulai is just like, she's done with the chain, she just drops it, <laughs> takes her great sword, hefts it, and then she's just going all in on Amalia, a wisdom save. Uh, no, that's a nine. She turns around, p takes the momentum of the attack, and just directs it all towards Zhao. She's gonna give Zhao all three attacks. Oh no. <laughs> um, Wait, no. Boop, boop, boop. All three of those are going to hit. Oh no. Uh, that is a 25, a 20, and a 28. Oh no. Oh, She's I going to died. deal. <laughs> oh yeah. She's going to deal uh, 10 plus. Oh, and Zhao is not resistant to radiant damage. <laughs> oh man. 10 plus 5 plus 12 plus 5 plus 10 plus 7. That's 49 points of damage. Wow, he's unconscious. <laughs> She takes, uh, she steps up to Zhao, takes his shield, flips it out of his hand with the tip of her great sword, and then just bears down on him with this great sword. She's not even hitting him with the sharp of the blade, she's hitting him with the flat. She takes the flat of the blade and just slams it right into his head, and then Palma strikes his face, and then just punches him in the face, and he falls to the ground. Down. <laughs> he went down! <laughs> oh no. Alright, uh, that is the end of Yulai's turn. She... Clerics are troublesome. Zhao, make a death save. Oh no. <laughs> How much health did he have? I'm curious. <clears throat> he had 37. Oh, whoa, hold on. Okay, so it's the third hit that would actually have knocked him unconscious. Got it. Yeah. I was making sure that he didn't fall, fail two saves there and Zhao just dies. Uh, Alright, so that's a success. Nice. Zhao's just like... <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Yin. You've Does lived a good life if the last thing you say is marshmallows. Yep. Gotta live a good life. One second, let me check Xiao's item sheet. I don't think Xiao has lived a good life. <laughs> <laughs> something, something. Drugs? Drugs, military service, watched all of his friends die, something, something. Something, something. Yin, like, tackles onto Amalia, reaches in that little handy haversack, grabs a potion, and flies and goes on to Zhao and gives him a potion. Okay. Sorry, I have to move this token. By a dragon. <laughs> Pseudo dragons are cool, I guess. That's what he heals. Alright, Zhao's conscious with 8 HP. Neat. Pseudo dragons. They're a thing. Alright. Uh, Amalia. So she's engaged with Chow now? Yes, technically. Uh, hi. You should congratulate them. Oh, congrats. What? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> For fuck's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> Holy Sorry, fuck, it's a new crit! Oh my God! 17, does that hit? What the fuck? Desist. <laughs> You have like crit on every turn almost. I guess I guess a lot of them were auto crits, but still. Um, all right, that is eighteen points of damage. Holy fuck! Cause she's definitely looking rough. I would say she's on what we would call her uh, her last legs. All right. That's what you get for that terrible joke. <laughs> no, the party is going to beat this NPC <laughs> that are designed to be perfectly beatable. All right, uh, Rel, it's now your turn. Yeah, I'm five feet down here, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna call lightning right here. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, here we go, here we go. That's Josh sheet, not mine. Um... Okay. <gasps> Ooh, nice damage. roll. She's gonna use super ultimate combo breaker and kill Rel instantly. Um, so, alright. Fuck up. No, she won't. <laughs> uh, dexterity save. Oh, I just cancelled instead of rolled. Hold on. Oop, save. Alright, there we go. <laughs> That's a 12. That's a failure. Uh, she's going to take 17 points of damage. She is still standing, but not by much. As she's just kind of almost wobbling in place, she takes her great sword and steadies herself. Put uh, Hefts her great sword again. She looks like she's going to swing down again at Zhao. Can you give up now, please? And you. I don't think she's giving up. I don't think she's giving up either. No, no nope. response yet. <laughs> and then you yeah. is going to go here and use her... Uh, refined platinum spell slot and casting Shiran on Zhao. Okay. Uh, and then move down here. Gotcha. I'm... And is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay. And it's Eli's turn. Barely standing, she takes her great sword, she swings it down at Zhao. She... <sighs> you won't be the one that pass. And <laughs> did she save? You might want to do oh, a wisdom to... save. <laughs> she does wisdom. Huh? She wisdom saves. Oh my god. She has advantage. Ooh, fucking 14? Shit. No, that's a 16. Okay. Yep. Um, Zhao's unconscious. Yep, again. Ooh, fuck. Does she keep going? Oh god, you lie. Yeah. No! <laughs> Alright. Mm. Zhao fails two death saves. Oh fuck! Miss. Zhao is alive with two death save with currently failed two death saves. Yeah. Oh god. Oh man, I'm so fucking nervous. He's gonna die. Oh god. Roll a death save. Ugh. Nope. No. <laughs> I called it. Fuck. Oh. Zhao dies. Zhao goes. <laughs> Black blood just pours out of Zhao's mouth as she slams the the blunt part of the great sword down onto his chest plate, and you watch the life fade from your friend. Yin. Yin goes full berserk. And actually jumps her and tries to attack. Okay. 
Roll an attack. Well, then does it hit? No. I'm on you. You still have advantage. You do. She's technically turned around. Oh. Yin's there as well, so. Motherfucker. <laughs> Amalia? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. That's that is correct. another fucking crit. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Amalia, how do you want to do this? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna lunge for her chest. Okay. Plunge the great sword straight into the chest. You hear the crunch of bones up underneath, and then you see this radiant light pour out. And she looks down at you. Uh, what she does, you're right behind her. You straight through the back, and then she slides forward off your great sword, takes a stumbling step forward turns around and looks at you. <sighs> Gets down on her knees, has the great sword holding her up just barely. She says, You may pass. And then <laughs> falls onto the ground, face first. She's not a humanoid, is she? She's undead. She's not. Son of a she is. She has the creature types of undead and construct. I was gonna pull a fucking Arthas. <laughs> and an interesting point of order. As this happens, you watch the armor just kind of go limp. And you see the light fade. And then the armor just... <laughs> turns to ashes. Yeah, I'm going to cast Gentle Repose on Jow. You know that spell? It's a ritual, uh, yes. Yep, it's a ritual. Hot damn, there you go. Uh, okay, you quickly take out the required components for it, looking through your ritual book, lay them out in a, in a uh, kind of this symbol on his chest and then they burn away and his body is preserved for 10 days. Let's get him back to camp. We have we have gems that we can use. Um, I fish out the one that he has for someone at camp to use and we've got one okay. in the handy haversack as a backup. Um, yeah, as, we need to get him back. As you're speaking, the plinth behind you, all the figurines on it, move into certain positions. The armor of Yulai starts piecing it back together, piecing itself back together, and then raises up in the air, starts levitating just a little bit above the ground, and you watch it kind of become an actual suit of armor again and then move over to the plinth, levitating still, just kind of limply in the air. And then seems to almost levitate behind the plinth, and you notice that there is a, uh, or the altar rather, you notice that there is an actual, like, an armor stand. And all the armor snaps into place there. The altar lights up slightly for just a brief moment, and you see all these figurines lock into certain positions, and then you hear something from down the below. A, this this big resounding
Well, but pass. Yeah, I don't count that as a win. Why not? She just points it down at Zhao. I hope everybody dies eventually. Besides, we can resurrect him, he's fine. Have you forgotten that it can also fail? Yeah, did it not fail on me the first time? Yes, it did. Yeah. It'll be fine. Hand me the handy haversack. I hand it over. <coughs> uh, I start uh, taking off uh, Zhao's heavy armor. That way okay. he's a little bit easier to carry. Okay. And taking off some of his items as well. None of us are really strong, so... I don't know. Can Yin actually carry her, carry him on her back? No. That's what I thought. Yin is the size of a cat. No, I meant you. You said Yin. <clears throat> I meant to say you. You, you could totally carry him. What's your, what's your carrying capacity, and how much weight are you carrying right now? Uh, I'm carrying fifty nine right now. What's your strength score? Uh, negative what? Strength score. Uh, eight. So you can carry 120 pounds total. Uh, I would be better at carrying him than you are. Okay, you're free to carry him if you want. We can alternate. Uh, I would have to hand off some of my items, but yeah. That's, that's fine, just... Yeah. That's Amelia, fine. what's your strength score? Nine. Oh. <laughs> like I said, just so, a little bit. I will say, with, with that knowledge, uh, no one in the party can carry Zhao without being encumbered. Okay, you so. get half, I get half. Um, half. Yeah, you carry <laughs> just tall. Just split him in half. <laughs> I carry yeah. the bottom. I'm... Zhao with no items on weighs 180 pounds. Jesus. Yeah, we've well, got no splinter. He's a big burly dude. Alright. Alright. So... You guys could perhaps fashion uh, like a, a sled or something to drag him behind you with. Hey, are these curtains? Uh, are they curtains again? Uh, yes, they are curtains again. Yes. I want to cut out a strip of them. Okay, easy enough. Cut out a huge strip of curtain. Oof, she's not gonna be happy about that. I don't give, don't give a, a damn. Um, right. So, uh, anyone have any rope? Uh, you do. Yeah, you put like. 150 feet of rope, and you're asking us if we have any rope? Listen here. Oh, I think I gave it to Zhao. Fuck, I rope for her. I did give it to Zhao. Okay. Uh, I, uh, take it out of the, hand the handy cover suck. I'm just imagining this person with 150 feet of rope in their hands. Does anybody have any rope? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you have some fucking color. You're like, does anybody. Does anybody have a knife? <laughs> All I have is this knife. Zhao, ja uh,. Rel wraps him up in the blanket and then on both sides pokes a hole for the rope to come through and uh, stitches it because I have uh, Taylor's tools on me so that it doesn't have... like yes okay yeah I do okay <clears throat> um, so that it doesn't like rip when they're pulling it okay in fashion okay. like a mm, makeshift cloth sled Sure. Until we run into some wood that we'll probably find eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> we, well, there's plenty of wood and decorations that have been crushed and you know, shit. You know would really piss her off if we just take one of the mattresses off the bed? Mattresses are pretty heavy. They are. Y yeah. You carry that you if you want to, Amalia. No, you get... No, 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 no. You get... What you do is you tie him to the mattress, and then you tie. But the we mattress. gotta go upstairs. Did you? Oh, he's dead. 
he's not gonna feel it. Plus, that's the point of a mattress. He's gonna feel it less with that good of a mattress. Mattresses are very heavy. It's like that's carrying two I'm of them. Getting towards saying two of us pulling it, but all right. I just wanted a goddamn mattress. <laughs> is it too much to ask for? Yeah, it's gonna get scratched because friction is a thing. It'll still be better than what we've been sleeping on, let's be honest. I've been... leaning up against things. You guys have been laying on the ground. Quite peacefully, even though you toss and turn a lot. I, don't know, I mean, I'm quite comfortable on the ground. Yeah, I can tell by your snoring. Yeah. Let's just get him back. Okay. Perfectly fine with that. Okay. And you can cast Gentle Repose just as a ritual whenever, pretty much, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So long as I have the book. Please don't take the book away. <laughs> the book just disappears the next day. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's oh, fine, okay. we still have hey, nine more days. If you got any sentience left in that body of yours, we'll be back. <laughs> There's no response. I'm gonna yeah, call lightning kill her on it. again. Call lightning on it, and there is absolutely no effect. It doesn't even move the, like, robes that are covering the armor. It's in, like, a stasis vein. I think it's killing her? It? Probably um, her. As you as you begin to descend the stairs, well, with... mm -hmm. I, I I was gonna say first I'm gonna do something. Okay, what are you doing? I wanted to investigate the little plinth. Okay, you investigate the plinth. Um, looking over it, it almost looks like a um, it almost looks like a game board of some kind. There are several figurines on it, uh, and they take many different forms. Um, there's a bird. There is a there's one of a dragon. There's one of this weird cloud that's painted pure black with, like, wisps of something coming off of it. Um, but you notice that the, the wisps, at first you're like, oh, that's just a clever, you know, paint job. No, 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 no. There's actual wisps of shadow trailing off of this figurine. And then you look and the dragon's eyes are actually glowing. And it has actual fire in its mouth. These are magical figurines, whatever they are. And you pour over them. Uh, there are several... And you notice a little bit of a pattern. A roll a religion check for me. Oh, all right. I'm good at these. I mean, plus three isn't bad. Wow. Yeah, twenty-one. Um, you're like, wait a goddamn second. These figurines all kind of match the idea of the Norden mythos, which is the raven, the shadow, the dragon. Um, oh, off the top of the DM's head, they can't remember all of them. Um, is that why you should have your eyes open? There's the tree. Uh, so you you see all of these figure figures of Norden mythos on the on the table. Phoenix. Hey. Yep, the phoenix is one of them. Um, and you see that their positions now that you've gotten kind of a different perspective on it. It almost looks like a world map. Do I need to draw something? Oh. Uh, yeah. This looks like a map. Of the actual world? I think so. Yeah. It's, it's vaguely similar. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close to what you would call a world map. Does it look familiar to our world? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks dated, perhaps? But, yeah. How dated? Ugh. I don't know, I'm not a geologist. <laughs> mm, I'm sure you would have kept a map of the world, right? Having a map of the world doesn't mean you can tell how old another map of the world is. Well, you can tell the differences by drawing. It, like, 
you can tell the differences. You just don't know how old it is, if that's what you're trying to figure out. Yeah, that's yeah. not possible. I wasn't talking about that. I was seeing how no. how, how off key they are. Yeah, how off key they are. Uh, it matches in most places almost perfectly. In some places, it's just so different. It's like, is this really a world map? Um, especially up in the north where uh, Krenita Krono is, there's um, there's an interesting tidbit. Normally, Krenita Krono is is separated off from the rest of Nordatero, uh, which is the the Iceland's to the north. Um, uh, Nordatero in in um, Norden literally means Northland, and Krenita Krono means Crown of the North, and it's called Crown of the North because it kind of sits in this this not necessarily straight but in this channel between Astoria and um and Nordatero but you you know that on this map they're connected it's not that Kronita Krono sits in the middle of the ocean it's that Nordatero extends downwards and actually connects with Kronita Krono um and you note something interesting while you're all looking at this map uh, and that's that. Uh, there are um, there are three figurines all sitting on Kronitha Chrono, what and that is that is the tree. Uh, I'm sorry, there are four figurines sitting on Kronitha Chrono. Um, that is the tree, the shadow, the phoenix, and the raven. Huh. Interesting point of order. There is a token. It's not an actual, like, game piece. There's a token that's also sitting on Kronita Chrono. And this one you don't recognize. It's of a... Uh, it's of an interesting-looking symbol. Um, it is... vaguely familiar to you, but it's just a pair of... Uh, it's just a pair of eyes. And one of them is closed, one of them is open, and the open eye has a sword through it. It's not from the Necromancer Journal, is it? I don't think no. so. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I guess you would take the time so. to sketch and... it. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make a make a dex check. Um, With your... 12. It takes you quite a while to get a good sketch. Mm. Also, does it look like... The places that are, are remarkably similar... Um, mm -hmm. Would those be mountains? A lot of them are, yes. Okay. Many of them are mountain ranges. Inter okay. So, so it's a pretty, pretty fair assumption to say that this, the water level is risen, which is it, it, hiding. Definitely a fair assumption, yes. Okay. That's 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 the big difference that you note is that like the the edges of all the land land masses. Are, they they extend much further on this map than on your current world map. This is interesting. This is the part of the campaign where we talk about global warming, folks. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, I figured out what makes this map so different. Mm -hmm. The water levels between the two. In the current day maps and this one. And she points it out. Ah, uh, the water has risen since this map was written. Substantially. Mm hmm. Mm. You also note that the ice around the edges of the map is uh, a substantially different shape than on your current map. So, did the ice melt? Yes. It looks that way. So, it's been issued for the water. Well, it's the only source of water I can think of that's around this world. Yeah, and this poses some problems. Next time on What B Lies Below, the gang has to deal with a summit between all the world leaders to reduce carbon emissions. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that's the case. <laughs> Considering they so, use magic most of the time. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so. how are we gonna stop the water from rising? 
Why is the water rising? Maybe that isn't something to do while we're in a fucking hole. Maybe we'll find out as we go deeper. <sighs> Perhaps. Hmm. I've got an okay sketch of it. Um, wait. She said we would be branded with a mark. So this, this sketch that you get takes you about 20 minutes, by the way, and during that time, pretty close to the end of it, mm -hmm. one of the pieces moves. Um, guys? On the board, it scoots over the game board and settles in a new position. Uh, this one is the dragon. The dragon goes from what looks like possibly Wild's Peak down to Mirvanian, straight into the Vanian Desert. Which, as a note, on this map is uh, it almost looks like it's it's meant to be a rainforest of some sort. Wouldn't we all know that a big dragon died there? Yes. And something happened. Yeah, that's that's the common that's the common myth for the reason of that desert's existence is Mirvanin mean directly in uh, in draconic means uh, Drake's fall or in an RN rather. That's not creepy. Wait. Where all those tokens are? Is that where we are? The I group of tokens? So, yeah, right? yeah. The group of tokens? They're sitting on Krenito Krona, which is... You're just off the coast of it. So... Does that mean they're all gathered here? We gather here today. Well, we already, that one moved. I, what was the tree? Oops, the that's not yeah. Shadow and the Phoenix. We already know that three of those are looking down here. So I think that these represent the but the three entities. However, this dragon puzzles me. It was at Wild Peak. Wasn't it? Mm hmm. Those, you know about the world wing, right? The dragon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys have a, a general idea of it. You don't know any like big specifics, but. Maybe it's tracking them? Mm hmm. I want to try and move one of the pieces. Okay. It resists. You can't move it. That's what I thought. No. What about the token? The token you can move. Maybe that's you can the shift mark the token around the board. Talking about because she said a mark. So maybe that's her mark. You think? Maybe. Hey, Amalia. What? Can you identify this? All right. I guess. I'm gonna toss the token drawer. Uh, you okay. remove it from like the board area. <clears throat> yeah, it disappears and reappears the last place that you placed it. Oh. to move it over to the dragon. Okay, you move it over to the dragon. And there's no, like, visual response or anything. Like, you just move the token to the dragon. Hmm. Big fucking thonk, friends! I want to move it over smack dab in the middle of the ocean. Okay, you can move it smack dab in the middle of the ocean. 
Nothing well, let's happens. leave that there for now. Wouldn't it be better just to put it back where it originally was? Perhaps. Uh, but we don't know what it does, and I have a feeling that it's... crying. Uh... Somewhere off in the distance, you just hear in the back of your head, "Why is it? Why is it crying?" Um, <laughs> um, Amalia just needs to touch it. She doesn't have to take it off the board to identify it. So, all right, yeah, well, okay. just I, I, I think it would be best to leave it here, though, like right here. So, Amalia, come identify, but don't move it. I guess I go and identify it. Sure. Take a few minutes, take the pearl in your hand, and you concentrate on this this little token. Um, after a few moments, y you get some magic back. Uh, it's definitely divination magic. It seems to be not necessarily tracking something, but maybe affecting... It seems to be affected by the position of something, though you can't tell what it's tracking. You can't tell what it's attached to. It's it's very obviously attached to something, though. There's almost this this divine link between this token and uh, what might be a creature or an item. It has a link to something, divination magic, but I can't figure out what it's linked to. What's in its other eye? Oh, there's two eyes. One of them is closed, the other one is wide open, and there is a sword piercing the eyeball. Um, and it's gonna, a sword. I'm going to get a it drawing a of that. Since we think it's familiar, but not familiar enough. It's a, yeah, you feel like you've seen it somewhere before, but you're not sure where. And it is a sword. Um, do you note that it does not look like Eli's sword? It is not flat. It is very sharp and pointy, and it looks like a pretty typical sword. Uh, out of character, can we take a break here in just a second? Yes, we will here in just a moment. Memodius, do you know what this symbol means by chance? Wait a few moments. No response. This is a temple, so quite possibly not, maybe not talk to him here. I've got a good sketch of the, the symbol. You can ask later. <gasps> Did you say that out loud? Hmm? Amalia. Yeah. yeah, why? Rel moves the token back. Try again. Memodius, are you there? I can see again. Oh, Rel, God. don't fucking touch it. Got it. <laughs> 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 it was as if my connection to this place had been severed momentarily. Yeah, what Rel, happened? Rel just can't help but touch things. What, what kind of things? I can't... I don't understand. Um... Um... The... Amalia, can he see through your eyes? I'm uh, too weak for something like that right now. He says he's too weak for it right now. There's... We found this map. It seems to be quite old. And it has... Figurines on it. Dragon, a shadow, a raven, the, a phoenix. Even the phoenix, yes. Yeah. And there's a token as well. It has... Uh. It is tracking my brothers and my sisters. Can I pull the sword out of the eye? 
Uh, the token, the token is flat. Like imagine like a little, oh, like one of the okay. tiny little like two D game tokens you have. It's like a picture on the token. I was going to shoot you. Real. Real. Stop touching the token. Stop. I need that token there, Rel. <laughs> I was just trying to help. I, that's not helping. We just figured out what that token does. Don't touch it. Please. I will slaughter all the children. Well, I'm the evil one. Yeah, but that's the only thing that's going to hurt you. <laughs> <Ow>. Damn. <laughs> Holy fuck. Am I wrong? Brutal. I don't think you can live with yourself. I couldn't, that's why I wouldn't. <laughs> so she's, she's kind like, of an empty threat. <laughs> she's like, I'll kill you and all the children and then myself. I killed them all. <laughs> the women are children too. I'm Mario Skywalker. <laughs> no. Even the younglings? Murder them all. <laughs> Maya, what's Amalia's opinion on sand? Pocket <laughs> Shut sand. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't, it's I don't rough. Get it. It's a it's a Anakin Skywalker oh. reference. He says, "I hate sand. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere." And it's like one of the worst line of lines of dialogue I have ever seen. Good. So. So, as you're staring at this, you realize that this is a tracker of some kind. And the strangest part to you is that this is a tracker for what would be the Norden mythos. All of them are on here. And every now and then, one of them moves. It might be the dragon. It might be the weird billowing mass of shadow. But they all move. Except for one. Well, technically, except for two. The Phoenix and the Raven. They have stayed static the entire time. I poked my Raven in response. <laughs> one of these days, you're going to poke that Raven and it's going to fucking. It's going to fucking peck like... your eye out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just poke the Raven and it's like, bitch! <laughs> I was thinking more of, is that a cultural norm? Poke back. Oh no, she's mad. <laughs> hey, I don't mind small pecks. As long as it's not... In the gouging. <laughs> yeah, see, I can confirm this for Heather as well, because her arms are covered in cat scratches. Yeah, I don't really care. This as long is as, disturbing. As long as it doesn't get too bad. I'm just like, Heather, are you are you over here? Are you okay? Or like, you've been listening to some Hawthorne Heights? Yeah, She's like, no, a, that's cats. Mm -hmm. Being a cat owner is really awkward when you want to go and wear like a t-shirt or shorts. Because <laughs> you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, they're going to think I'm insane. <laughs> Just walk around like, what do your cats do? My cat hasn't scratched me in like years. Really? Play I piss cats. my cat off. <laughs> sounds like you need, yeah, it sounds like you need to fucking play with your cat. I do I... play with my cat. He just doesn't care. Well, I haven't had any kittens recently, so I haven't really been playing with them. But they still yeah, scratch the living shit out of me, like, um, Dark. Cory fucking got me that one day. Yeah, Dark, what he'll do is if you're not paying attention to him, he'll, like, claw up on your leg. He's not clawing, clawing, but sometimes <laughs> he'll get that one here. stray nail mm -hmm. whenever he taps you, says, hey, pay attention to me. You know, Will literally just puts his cat in a chokehold, and all he does is sit there and stare at you with a please no face, <laughs> like, on his face. Yeah, he just purrs. <laughs> and I'm like, over I'm here with my right cat, now. and even when she wants you to pet her, she still uses claws. Yup, my cat like, does too. I don't too. understand. My cat will make you pet her, and if you stop, she will scratch the shit out of you. <laughs> She's like, no, bitch, you ain't going nowhere. That reminds all me right. of Pepper. I think this is a good point to go ahead and take a break. Good. I really need to pee. <laughs> I do too. All right. I'll be right back. I'll be okay. right back.
Infinity or what lies below? <laughs> what lies what below? Lies below. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I was kidding. But I want this to be. <laughs> Aren't you? Alright, welcome okay. back. So, uh, Zhao is dead on the floor, wrapped up in a curtain, and, uh, you know, he's not he's not using any sending, so I'm gonna say that there's no curtain call. But. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, uh, and you have you have found a table that seems to. Uh, be be related some somehow in some way to the Norden mythos. Is there music? Um, there's about to be. Okay. It's to the Norden mythos. Have... Sorry. Go ahead. It's a good thing I have gentle repose. Otherwise, I would be pushing all of you out the door. Yeah, I didn't know you had gentle repose until yeah, now. So gave yeah, I got it from the necromancer book. Uh -huh. That's pretty sweet. Nice. This right. is why we look at see if there's miracles. <laughs> yep. Scene. Which I have marked off, so we're good. Um, there is fine, tiny hut. There is also uh, there's also a fox as one of the Norden mythos, and I don't have notes beyond that one. There is a a fox, a dragon, uh, the shadow, um, the tree, the raven, the phoenix. I think that's all I have for right now. So what is the fox doing? Uh, the fox is sitting um, currently in the uh, the land known as Illatath, which is to the far south and east. <laughs> it's south, 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 south of Astoria. What do I know about the fox? Um, roll a religion check. Oh. This would be one of those times where you can I roll really it with advantage it. because you did read a book earlier that was like literally called the Mythos of Norden. This is true. Okay, thirteen. Uh, decent enough. Um, the fox represents um, cleverness, intelligence, trickery, deceit. Um, it's uh, so all of the all... <laughs> not quite real, but close. <laughs> um, it, the all of the. Um, all of the the Norden mythos have a like a primary virtue and a primary vice. Uh, for instance, now that you've kind of ingested some information about the shadow, you know that the shadow's virtue is curiosity. However, its vice is basically gluttony. It, it's curious, but it's far too curious. Mm -hmm. Um. And you know that that all of the others seem to have a similar pattern going on, and whether they they have control over their vice or their virtue is kind of left up in the air. So, well, I know who Rel's patron would be. Ah, uh, uh, you think it would be the fox. <clears throat> or are you talking about the shadow? Well, I'm talking about the, sh the, the fox. Nah, this would totally be the shadow. Who are you it's, it's so real, it hurts. It's like, I need knowledge. I need a lot of knowledge. I can't stop getting knowledge. Oh, fuck. I just killed a bunch of people for knowledge. That's okay. More knowledge. Uh, yeah. I mean... That's the shadow in a nutshell. The fox is more like Loki. Think, think Loki. That's the fox. You would be the kind of person to yeah. worship both if it got you knowledge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rel just turns into Jericho Frey. That's literally the bad guy of Dusk and Ash. Is just like, well, I'm gonna be a champion of several gods, and none of them are gonna know about it. Cause, ha. Whoops. I mean, if I had the ability to uh, prevent people from reading my thoughts, oh, I'd do all kinds of things. The uh, there was an NPC patron in Dusk and Ash that uh that Frey worked with called the Night Serpent, and uh, the Night Serpent allowed him to hide all of his intentions and thoughts from other gods. So he just became a cleric or a warlock of, like, many different gods. It was pretty It was pretty fun to play. And tried to siphon off power. Yeah, he just started siphoning power from them, like, alright, I'm gonna take some of that, I'm gonna take some of that. Jesus. 
yeah. He was a fun bad guy. Yeah. Alright. So, you guys have this table in front of you uh, with the with what looks like a pretty old world map and these tokens kind of moving across the board occasionally. Um, the only two that haven't moved at all since you've been watching it are the Raven and the Phoenix. The rest of them have moved at some point, though not all of them great distances. The dragon seems to move everywhere. It just seems to fly around. Um, whereas like the shadow has moved, but only just slightly. It's never once left Krenita Chrono. Maybe he's exploring. What do you think? I wonder if he's looking for the... Um. My brain just died. <laughs> Do you mean the weapon? Well, my brain wanted to say the cookie, so... <laughs> no, um... <clears throat> Maybe he's looking for the egg? Mm, let's not mention that. Let's hope he's not. Maybe. It's possible, but... Maybe he's just looking for an egg. That's also a possibility. What if the egg is in the dragon? Hmm? What else could it be? A phoenix. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. It could be? It wants fire. So uh, it could be both. Ask your god? I don't know. <gasps> ask him what a phoenix sex looks like? I don't want to take the chance he's gonna tell me to stab it, like... Uh... If it is... Uh, hold on, what's his name? Altenar? No, not Altenar. Wait, yeah, Altenar. <laughs> yeah, alright. If, if it is Altenar, then uh, probably a good thing to kill it. Possibly, yes. And Which... then we can let Haruka fall over and die. Because we won't need her anymore. So, but here, here's, here's a question. Over here, over us, there's the tree, which we know is the tree of Ong, the shadow, the phoenix, and the Modius. There's four. Okay. So. No, who did we talk to? You mean. When you died, who did we talk to? The shadow. Did we... Was it the shadow? Or was it the tree? I think it was the shadow. It was a drake, for sure. And it was. It was shadowy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it was shadowy. <laughs> but perhaps, and hear me out, perhaps the drake that you saw was not the same being that we talked to. It's not. The voices are different. Or different. So, we've been talking to the tree then. Possibly. It seems we've been talking to both. Have we? Well, the voice in the room and the voice that we heard when I. Maybe the word in tandem. It. Oh, that's a good idea. If this was like a 70s sitcom, everybody you, at the same time see, would just look at the camera. You see, the tree gives <laughs> the name of the one that is wandering around more. And that can go out and do things more. The, and he reports to the tree, and they share knowledge, and... So then that would mean that... The shadow is Eltonar? No, I believe that's the phoenix. That's the phoenix. Mm, no, I'm fairly certain that's Limodius. Why does Limodius's vision change when I move the token, then? Because it's no longer over the phoenix. It's no longer over the island in general, as a note. Yeah. 
that. Mm. So. I don't think so, because we know Eltona is a phoenix. Though, yes. No offense, but quite literally, you could be working for the bad phoenix and not realize it. Who? <laughs> I think she means me. Just but so he's actively trying to get me to kill the bad phoenix. I mean, I I see your point, but. I'm a sinister, but it's just a thought. It's a fair thought. It's a possibility. It's a little crazy. I think we're all a little crazy here. Oh, absolutely. We... Mm. No, I'm very crazy. Yes, we, we also tell. don't know if Haruka's actually working for a phoenix, though, either. That might just be what she was led to believe. It's also a possibility that it's being done to me. I just don't want to believe it. Uh, yeah, it's also a possibility. Yeah, no, you're right. It's a possibility that Haruka's being led astray. Mm. I don't like this when sitting over there typing. We're being listened to. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a possibility since there isn't two Phoenix tokens. They're either hiding it or. Hmm. What's on the underside of a token? Uh, you flip it over. It's um, on the under underside of the token. It's the same symbol, but the uh, the other eye is the one with the sword through it. I flip it over and place it back down. Okay. Try talking to Lemurius again. Lemurius, are you there? I am. Have you noticed a change at all? No, none. Oh. He says there's no change. Interesting. What's this token made out of? Uh, you, you're familiar enough. It's made out of obsidian. If I voice my next question, everyone is going to know what I want to do. Can I break it? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can read your mind. You don't even have to voice it. Listen to your motherfucker. Is obsidian brittle? <laughs> yeah, obsidian is like probably the most brittle stone you can name. What? What I makes you swear think? To God. It, what makes you think it's not just going to reform? Like, oh, it might. I would hope it would. Then what's the point of breaking it? She's curious. Here it is. What comes in this? God damn it. If it don't come back, it's your head on a stake. On a I stake. Mean... You know what? Yeah, I'm putting your head on a stake and I'm eating it with it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know part of this? Just in case if there's a bad reaction, she's going to take Xiao's body and start dragging it across the oh, room. Oh, she isn't, she isn't gestured towards doing anything yet. Mm, uh, crazy person. 
<laughs> Crazy person is staring at the token. Walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a knife out. Pull my hammer out. Put the knife smack down in the middle so that the closed eye and the left eye are on opposite sides. Okay. And I'm gonna hammer the knife real hard. Okay. Does it break? Shatters. Doesn't just break, it shatters into a thousand fragments. Oh no. It's obsidian. I was trying to do it like a pill cutter. It's a piece of glass. Well. Yeah. yeah. Well. Is it safe? Hmm. Uh, did, did you just break it? That's exactly what she did. So how small are these pieces? Very tiny. Okay. <laughs> Roll just leaves the campaign. <laughs> I'm here to fuck shit up and well, nope, that was actually it. That's all I came here to do. <laughs> um. Hmm. Can I remove one of the pieces now? Try to take it off the game board. <laughs> Goes back to where it was laying. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> are you proud of yourself now? I should have sawed it. You shouldn't have touched it. I was trying to flip off of one of your eyes so that he could see. Wh what? What? I'm like. Saw it in half, right? And then flip it over so that both eyes are open. That's not how a, co a token Rel's works. Rel's actually insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how a token works, Rel. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I'm just picturing Rel like in front of the movie Frankenstein's Monster. Rel is Dr. Frankenstein. I... Probably not far off. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like... The mob's was... coming for you, Rel. Uh, can you even speak to your god anymore because of that? Or patron, or whatever. Uh, if I can't talk to Lamodius anymore, you're dead. It's alright, I got this! Rel takes her hand and sweeps all of the glass off of the fucking table. <laughs> it all goes right back where it was. Is it still shattered? Yeah. Oh shit, well. <laughs> <laughs> I done goofed. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> oh man. Is it not enough just to figure out how something works as a simple piece of whatever? Is that not. Right, you, you see, you can find out how to speak to Lamodius. I'm gonna try and piece this back together. You piece you back together. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and piece it back together. <laughs> what kind of check are you making? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Can I one argue I intelligence? It. Sure. Okay. Can I argue arcana? No. It is a magical item. No. Damn it. That's not how this works, friends. Fuck. <laughs> Please. Hey. You've, you've got it all back together. Um... <laughs> Still definitely shattered, but it's all <laughs> kind of there. Welcome to thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So right, Lamertius, can you get in contact with him? 
Lamodius, can I kill her? <laughs> There's no response. Oh no. You bitch! <laughs> uh... Oh, oh god. This is the episode of What Lies Below where it all just comes tumbling down, everyone kills each other, and then we start a new campaign. Hmm. <laughs> I imagine Rel's just like making the funk face. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Can I uh, search around the altar for like any hidden compartments? Sure. Make an investigation check. Hey, uh, somebody want to give me a hand? No. Uh, I guess. Thank you. Luckily, I'm mostly because I can't. <laughs> You're lucky. Well, I was two twenties. Okay. <clears throat> you don't see any hidden compartments on this altar. Oh my god. Do we have a piece of obsidian? Does it look like we have a piece of obsidian? Yeah, we do have a piece of obsidian. It's shattered in pieces. <laughs> Alright, do we have a rock? Oh my god, I'll look. I'll give me a second. Uh, we picked up a lot of gemstones. Just give me a second. But I don't think any of them were obsidian. Uh, we'll be able to use Onyx. I have Onyx. Uh, the closest stone we have to black <coughs> is an Onyx. And I don't think uh, that's gonna work. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if? What if? We create a new token for him. How how are we supposed to just D does make it look a like token? I'm good with chiseling tools? Uh even even if we chisel it into the same token. It was clearly it it had magical properties. It's something that none of us could probably do. Well, I mean, you don't know. I might be able to. I don't want you touching another one of those things. Uh, that's fair right now, but I'm also the only person that has any chance of creating another one. But it would be linked to you, not him. Well, no. Amalia's linked to him. So she... Working with her, we could potentially do something. Does you still have a raven? <clears throat> yes, and your phoenix is still with you. Okay. Well, I knew, because um, I thought hers was specifically from the Raven Queen, whereas mine was from the Ritual Caster Feet. Uh, yours is from the Ritual Caster Feet, but it's definitely enhanced by your connection to, uh, to Lenodius. Okay. That's why it can appear as a raven instead of just, like, uh, I'm sorry, as a phoenix instead of just, like, any old bird. That's fair. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, perhaps, maybe with your phoenix... We can establish a new connection, and we can open up Lumodius's eyes. I don't think it's just his eyes, but yeah, I guess. So what exactly are you trying to do? Uh, grind down a gemstone to be flat, like the, the token was. Hmm. And then carve the details back into it. Um, Very hmm. rudimentary. 
Do you guys even have like the tools for that? Probably not. Uh, don't I believe have, you do. We have the ground to grind it. Uh, no. I it works that way. <laughs> <laughs> is the ground not made of stone? It, it is made of stone. That's not how this works. I don't know what you're even picturing in your head, but it's incorrect. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty accurate. Ralph doesn't know how fucking, like, gem cutter stuff works. <laughs> Ralph. Yes? You know how difficult it is? You, you... I've had an experience with merchant stuff, but making gems and stuff is extremely difficult work. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shatter. It's made of obsidian! Ah! We, we did discuss, out of character, that it is extremely brittle. Perhaps the most brittle of rocks. Ah, uh, yeah, Pharrell's never handled obsidian. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Why does Rel exist? <laughs> Rel should have died instead of Zhao. Probably, yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't be in this situation. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> we, would, we would have been on our way back hours ago, probably not with the body, but you know, that's not important. I, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> we just drop you off the cliff. Bye-bye. Uh, you could. <laughs> We'd probably be fair. <laughs> just drop you into the hole that you threw me into. Holy shit. I don't want to give you guys any ideas, so I'm not going to mention anything. <laughs> oh no, we have a lot of our of ideas on our own. It's fine. I deserve them all, probably. <laughs> no, there is no probably. Uh, I'm going to poke uh, the armor. Okay, it it, it doesn't move. Ah, uh, oh, 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 Amalia, what if what if you try like communing with it or something? What? Zhao <laughs> comes back to life, strangles Rel to death, and then he dies. <laughs> we uh, communing well, you, uh, with what? The, the, the Shattered Token, because you have a connection to Lemodius, maybe he can fix it through you? I don't fucking know. I can't even talk to him anymore. Cross. Uh, just touch it. Have your phoenix touch it. I touch the, the pieces of the token. I touch a piece of the token. Nothing happens. Sorry, a phoenix? Ah. I, literally nothing worse can happen right now. You know what? You need to stop saying that because every time you say that, something worse does happen. Not incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said that right after Zhao died, too. So, and look at us now. Something worse happened. Uh, I actually didn't. I said he'd be fine. Does he look fine to you? Do any of us uh, look fine to you? He will be. Alright. She motions for the phoenix to touch the token. Okay. Phoenix touches the token. You think it disappears as it's sucked into the token. <laughs> oh. You can feel this connection to your celestial familiar break for a second and then <laughs> Phoenix reappears. And your connection reforms. What just happened? Um... Token still shattered? It is. 
but a few pieces seem to have merged back together. You get your oh! ass over here. No, 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 I've got it. Why? Um, I'm gonna go over and can I channel some of my sorcery points into it? You attempt to channel sorcery points into it. You take your sorcery points and you take your, your etheric magic and it doesn't react. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. More like, well, fuck. Uh... Now can you come over here? Hold on. <sighs> just, uh, just, just out of curiosity, can I cast? Mm. I want to shock and grasp one of the pieces. Okay. Flies off the table and then reappears where it was. That's it. What, while I'm holding it? Oh. But you didn't say you were holding it. You said you shock and grasp one of the pieces. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. I want to grab one of the pieces and shock and grasp it. Uh, sure. Um, it doesn't react. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. <laughs> sorry. I, I thought I knew, but I don't. <laughs> What are you guys doing? What's the uh, what's the the modus operandi here? He was just watching them. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You, I think we need your raven. <sighs> okay. I was willing to sacrifice my phoenix. <sighs> All right. Plus, you still have your dragon. It's fine. I, I like both of my thingies. I, I like both of my thingies. Yeah. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> That's a lot of love. Well, what it's worth, I would sacrifice something if I could. <laughs> the souls of all the kobolds. <laughs> yeah. I, I would do it. <laughs> I guess do what the raven just... I, I mean, the phoenix just did, darling. I, did, I, uh, I don't... No. Just just tell your raven to touch the token. It's fine. Touch the token, please. You'll come back. It's fine. I promise. I hope you can. <laughs> this is not me doing it, I swear. She's asking me to do it. If anything Flies happens, over. you get to blame her. Flies over to the token and lands next to it and just tentatively like touches a single talon to it and then <laughs> gets sucked in. <laughs> you hear a... <laughs> 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 uh, a few moments later, the raven does reemerge, <laughs> and the token is mostly reforged. However, there are pieces that are still out and just laying about. Uh, what if you try your phoenix again? Uh, sure. Motions for the phoenix to do the same thing. Phoenix does the same thing, and it happens again. And the rest of the tokens are reforged. I guess we didn't need your raven. I apologize. It's okay. You I thought hurt, it was a were you? He <laughs> just got sucked out of existence. <laughs> the raven. The raven says, "You weren't hurt, were you?" <laughs> what? It can mimic. The raven says. The raven yeah, oh, ravens have right, ravens right. have havoc mimicry. <laughs> ravens are like parrots. Right. Mm, ravens can mimic, you know. Uh, I forgot. Technically speaking, so can Amalia's familiar. Yeah, because it's based off of a it's raven. Based off of raven. Apparently, apparently, phoenixes can parrot people. There's a fucking noceum. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> sorry. Look, let's see. It's fixed. We, we fixed it. Don't break it again, please. I, I won't. Don't touch it. <laughs> now try to contact gonna, him again. That's, that's I'm gonna move it back to the island. Well, okay. it was still there. That's why I fixed it. Oh, okay. That's where you yeah. fixed it, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I tried to. Like I was trying to put <laughs> them back together. <laughs> Correction. That's why. I, that's where I relled it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's accurate. <laughs> when somebody breaks something in a way that's almost impossible to fix, we're going to call it relling it. <laughs> okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, yeah, I am too. I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
right? Proteus, please tell me you're there. I'm here. Oh my god. I'm not sure what happened, but I lost... I lost my connection to you for a moment. Mm-hmm. She did it. I put Jarrell. She broke the token. I suggest you kill your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm working on it. I'm kidding. That oh. was a joke. I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Patience. 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 <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Patience. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I was gonna kill her. I just said I was working on getting her killed. <laughs> uh, right. Well, can I fuck with the tree token then? Is everyone okay with that? I'm really glad you added the word with in there. Because <laughs> for a second I didn't hear that word. And I was, it was like, can I fuck the tree token? And I was like, alright, hold on a minute. I, this is this where we just... Has limits. <laughs> this, is, this is where we just leave. <laughs> just leave. Don't Jesus. touch the phoenix, don't touch the raven, don't touch the token, everything else right. I don't give a damn. Alright, cool. Can fuck with the tree token, so what are you doing with the tree token? What's it made out of? Uh, it appears to be made out of obsidian. Oh god. Neat. I wanna smash it. Don't it. tell him! <laughs> sure. You, you go to smash it. Uh, Rel, go ahead and roll me a, uh, go ahead and roll me a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you hold oh, me no. out of there so Man. fast. I'm not really sure if Rel's gonna live through this one. I'm not. I don't think. Oh no, that's an eleven. Oh. I'm not. I <gasps> didn't heal before this. One second. Can you, can you give me? Um, I've got nothing. You don't have anything. All right. Well, that's fine. It's only a little bit. It only got all over my fucking pants. Um. Just a minute. Spilt a drink. It's just. It's just all right up in there. In that what? <laughs> in that place? You know. <laughs> in that place. Oh man, it's it's that's just wonderful. I love life. So I, this I is want my to favorite describe. part of the day right here. Spilling Dr Pepper in my crotch. Is it on any of the electronics? No, luckily okay. it was on a pill bottle. Oh yeah, it's just all over my bill book. Oh, yes. Oh goody. Oh. Yes, this is the good stuff right here. Doesn't sound yeah. like good stuff. All right. <laughs> Well, if it was just all over her, I was gonna be like, "Oh man, been all right, worse. I have to, I have to, I have to change." Got to change those pants, yo. So, Rel has a crowbar. Oh god, are you using you're, the crowbar? I you're am. making a con <laughs> save and falling over dead. That's oh yeah, she's like, <laughs> so she pulls out this crowbar and she just like, "All right, I've got a quick question, question for you." Yo, what's up? How mad at you? Uh, how mad at me would you be if Rel died instantaneously here? Uh, I mean, I deserve it <laughs> because that might be about to happen. I uh, yeah, I, mean, um, I deserve it. I'm going to go look at the stat block for a certain individual because oh, no. you are going to take one of their attacks. Oh it's no! It's funny. I was like, maybe it's linked to it, and then I'm like, oh no, I'm stepping away from this so, immediately. Uh, let me go ahead and go to my critter DB because I don't even have this guy loaded into the uh, oh, loaded into the database. Take yet. A fucking hit um, from a deity. Goodbye. I'm you're about well. Dead as fuck. You're about to take a hit from. You're about to take a hit from an in-game boss. And when I say in-game, I mean it's like the end of of this campaign. <laughs> yep. like, Bye. like level twenty ish. <laughs> like level twenty ish. Um, all right. Probably thirty five. It, it has to deal. It has to deal sixty six damage. And and the funny uh, thing plus, is, so eighty two. Let's do eighty two damage. All right. Why? I have sixteen health. N no, it just has to deal double your total health. Yep, double your total health. Sixty six will one shot you to straight to dead. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was sixty-six after I was unconscious. No, it is if you take if you take double your total your maximum health and damage at any point you die instantaneously. Well yep. that ain't All gonna right. be hard. My critters. Um Aram, open. I almost hit delete. That would have been lucky for you. <laughs> Heather, I want you to look away, please. Oh god. I, I want you to look away, because I don't want you to see this this. I'm looking away. away. Fucking roll it, please. <laughs> All right, hold Before on. Before I get the urge to look. 
<laughs> so. Bye, nigga. Oh. Pretty much. Alright. Um, <laughs> you're going to take a hit from oh. Death Touch Bloom. Oh, God. <sighs> Goodbye. Bro, what was, nice was your con save? Oh, okay, that was 11. That is definitely not a success. No. DC on this is actually only 17. Um, actually, it's only 17. <laughs> I don't know, it takes a 13 for me. Yeah, not too bad. <sighs> you about to fucking die. Oh, God. Uh, Can I yeah. look now? Oh, my God. <laughs> Do I want to know how much that roll? <laughs> I want to know. She dead. Uh, so, Rel, um... You, you, you stop for a minute, and you, you think right before you do this, you're like, is this a bad idea? <laughs> nah. And then you slam the hammer down on this token of the tree. Hey, uh, crowbar. Oh, I'm sorry, crowbar. Down on crowbar. the <laughs> token yeah, of the tree. baseball swinging it. Oh my god! <laughs> Um, also, is there anyone within, uh, is there anyone within... I moved away. I was if like, oh fuck, no. you fucking kill me with you, I'm killing you in the afterlife. Uh, that's fair, I deserve it. Okay, yeah. I'm, so, I'm back this, over near Chow. This is also going to hit you, Amalia. Oh, it's great. It's okay, yeah. I need like 90 health, it's fine. Yep, yep, no. This, this doesn't one-shot either of you. Okay. You are both unconscious. You are both at zero. As the as the crowbar impacts, poof, all you see for a split second is just this explosion of black around you. Just poof, and then you feel the thorns as they begin to pierce your body and the poison spread through you. Um, Rel, you will take 65 points <laughs> of poison damage. <laughs> That was a 20d6. Amalia, Whoa. make me a constitution saving throw. Motherfucker, you got off easy. Oh, nope. What was the roll? Nine. Nine. Yeah, that's a failure. So you I take mean, the, this, the exact same amount. I'd have been unconscious anyways. <laughs> More than likely. So, uh, 22 health. Both of you, both of you are currently unconscious, and you, you just hear this <laughs> rush of air as it explodes outwards. Oh my god. He was like, I'm surrounded by idiots, aren't I? And I'm talking to the raven and my patron. <laughs> as um, I run up to Maya, feed her health potion, and drag okay. her to rail. Okay. <laughs> drag me to rail. <laughs> this is where the party just kills Rel. <laughs> you have eight health. Don't tempt me. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that can pick her back up right now. Yep. yep. I can yeah. give her another health potion, but I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Amalia, you have eight HP, and Rel, uh, um, you still at zero. Just... Are we just gonna leave her here? Rel, make me I'm that okay safe. I'm okay leaving her here. Why would you hit something that's clearly connected to a patron or something? She I'm unconscious. <laughs> she destroyed the token and you're gonna ask her why she went and... When it is clearly linked to a deity that would fire back. This is honestly just beyond Oz levels. I, you know, honestly, I don't... Like I said, I'm okay with leaving her here. This is the second time she's almost killed me. Talk to your deity. Fuck. Your patron. Whatever. Get his input. He already told me to wait. Well, and yes, I already wait. asked him. I already asked him if I could kill her, and she and he <laughs> said patience. Hey. hey, hey, you were patient, and she died, and you nearly died in the process. So you might want to ask him his opinion again. Yeah, but if I let her... <laughs> I find it hilarious that he was just like, patience, and then Rel dies. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Aro, for continuing the story for me. <laughs> He's... He's so 
saw the future. I didn't have to do it at all. <laughs> Lamodius is just like, hands? told you, bitch. <laughs> Why get blood on your hands when she's just going to kill herself? God fucking damn it. Uh, mm, Anastasia would probably appreciate it if I let her die. But you're in for Haruka. My in is Lumodius. Rel, roll another death save. <laughs> Completely Success. up to you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not that much of a bitch, and I lean down and use healing hands. Okay. Rel, your breath returns to you, and you, your eyes kind of flutter open. Um, your throat is super sore. Amalia, yours is as well as I know. Both of you feel like you've just inhaled, like, muriatic acid vapors. And, uh, you're both covered in small thorns. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was a mistake! <laughs> you have six health, by the way. I was really just kind of hoping they'd let you die. <laughs> The funny oh, thing is, <laughs> she was succeeding on her death throw. She would have come back alive. But... No, she only succeeded on one. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> roll me, roll me two more. I just want right. to see. I just want to see if you would have died here. I was. Nope. Oh, I was... Nope. You no. would have instantly. You would have instantly gotten back up. I was tempted to just sit there and wait until she got two fails. <laughs> and then just stab her in the face. <laughs> 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 you dumbass. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna stop. Talking with things now. I'm, I'm sorry. Are we? Are we? Are we going home now? You are uh, yes, not please. sorry. Um, I am sorry. Actually, that fucking hurt a lot. You, you. <laughs> I literally. If I hadn't moved away, we'd all be we'd dead all probably. Dead. We'd be dead. Uh, yep. Yep. No, yep. you were the smart one. I am not. <laughs> Amalia just throws her hands up in the air like this is why. Uh, no, no, mm. you were correct. I don't fuck with. Okay, I thought it'd be just as brittle. <sighs> so what happened to the token? Did it? it I mean, <laughs> the thing. Did oh it. yeah, you look and it's it's completely unharmed. <laughs> I poke it with my finger. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, say this once. It's more of a pat. Yeah, nothing happens. But I just. Did you just jump out the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, it's not gonna be. It's on my terms, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm all you. You plummet. Uh, hold on, let me check my notes. Uh, Seven hundred and ninety feet to your death. Uh, if if I was if if I jumped out a window and saw that it was more than like I don't know, like thirty feet, I would have cast fly on myself. For reference, that's how much damage you would actually take yeah. falling 790 feet, because the maximum fall falling damage is only 2086. Oh. I Terminal it, velocity. I let, yeah, I let it go further than that, though, because by those rules, you could fall from orbit and only take that, that damage. And only take... what is that? You could Master Chief that shit and live. Yeah. So yeah, you could just be like... <laughs> I cast Contingency on myself, the Contingency is when I hit the ground, uh, Cure Wounds casts on myself, and then I uh, jump from the spaceship. I figured it it wouldn't hurt, because I'm not taking a violent action to it, I'm just touching it. Yeah, nothing happens. I, I think it only reacted, the individual reacted, because you tried to smash it. Uh, no, I think you're right. Um. Can I do something stupid? No. I'm asking permission this time. Hold on. I'm asking permission so you can all move away. Stupid what like what? What are you going to do? Are we going to have to drag two corpses? You probably. Um, you may, no, I don't. Maybe. Um. I don't want to use all my I'm, health potions here. <laughs> no, that's, 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 that's fine. Ah. Uh, um. I it's just easier to drag two bodies than it, than it is to use another health potion. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true, but uh, we kind of sort of got things that might jump into our paths and try to kill us. Um, well, I'm curious, since it's capable of retaliating, I wonder... Actually, you know what? This could probably be fixed a lot easier. Um, try try talking to your raven through the uh, through the statue. What? What? 
try try touching the raven statue. Okay. And talking to it. <clears throat> uh okay. I poke it and say, hey, hey. you with the face. <laughs> wow. It's no response. <laughs> That's that's a lack of respect right there. Nothing? No, no. nothing. I mean, I mean, quite literally, I, I did a pact in my dream. And it was somebody else's, else's memory. memory. That's fair. Uh, you might want to move away. Uh, no! Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Just move away. Oh god. I'm not touching anything bad. I, I just, I just, I just <laughs> grab Amalia and start dragging her back towards Chow. <laughs> oh, you don't need to grab me. I'm hiding in the corner. Uh, I want to touch the Lumodius' token. Okay. Lay one finger on it. Okay. And, and say into my head, I'm not breaking it. Trust me. Uh, okay. I don't suppose you can hear me, can you? There's no response. Okay, I want to try the box. <laughs> There's no response. Okay, alright. Well, no, that's not there. Oh, hold on. I want to touch the fox and say, Are you open to deals? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I was like, oh no. What I was trying to say, Rail, is I think that it it has a piece of them in it. And whenever you hit it, it hurt them, so they responded by sending something out of that little statue. Yeah. Don't yeah, I, I get that, but that's that's why I was trying to like see if I could talk to them through that. That's why I did it to Limodius or any of them that aren't particularly interested in what's going on here. Even if they could, do you really think Limodius is going to talk to you right now? Ah, uh, that's a fair point. Yeah. That, that's a fair point. That's why I tried the fox, too. Just, just saying, you, you cut our link twice. Almost permanently. Maybe the fox doesn't care. I'm going to try the dragon. I do the same thing with the dragon. There's no response. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's suspense. <laughs> like a fucking bad B rate horror film. <laughs> Alright. I just. I want to sleep in a nice bed right now. I want to get all these thorns out of my body. They hurt. And then I want to go back to camp and deal and, and, and get Zhao back on his feet. No, yep, that, that sounds like a good plan. Unless if you're going to attempt to blow yourself up again by hitting the other. No, 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 let me listen. Next time, try not Vocalize to. Vocalize stupid things first. Yes, yes. so we can get clear. Yeah, at least when you blew us all up, she gave us, like, half a second of warning. <laughs> Probably less than that, but she still tried to warn us. Uh... I'm, just, I'm just really waiting for Rel to die. <laughs> it's fucking close, man. 65. If, if it had been one more, like, come on. What a one shot, yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping. <laughs> Like mildly. You're gonna regret not stabbing him in the face. I I already regret you not stabbing her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't want that to happen to me. Um, you almost had that happen to you today. I mean, that's you're also not you're also not real. I feel like Rel's yeah, actually just suicidal at this point. Even if she had stabbed me in the face while I was unconscious, it only would have 
been one failed save. Phoenix things. <laughs> it's harder to kill me, but apparently I can still die. You can. As we've proven. It's just <laughs> much harder. Yeah, it's harder <sighs> to kill me and it's easier to bring me back. Unless you're an ancient, like, psycho, semi demi deity that likes to fuck with people. <laughs> also, this is this is the um Those are the uh, Northern Mythos. The Raven, the Shadow, the Fox, the Tree, the Dragon, the Bear, and the Phoenix. Wait, what's the first one? Like the, the Raven. No, the um like the the Wrath and Conviction, like what's those are the the traits that they're supposed to represent, like in 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 terms of the religion itself. Like the Phoenix is, represents kindness, but um, each of them have like a good trait and a bad trait. The Phoenix represents kindness, but it can also be envious. Um, the Raven represents love, but it can also represent desire. Which des this is desire in like an overwhelming sense. This is a negative type of desire. That um, explains a lot. <laughs> Doesn't it though? Um, <laughs> the shadow can represent curiosity, which is generally a good thing, but it can also represent gluttony. And the idea is when these two things mix and the, the negative aspect overtakes the positive one, it takes something that's very good, like love or curiosity, and turns it into a very bad thing, um, like obsession. Like desire overtaking love becomes obsession. Gluttony overtaking curiosity becomes essentially the same thing, obsession. Um, greed and wit. Greed overtaking wit just basically turns you into, like, Nicolas Cage. Um, domination and wisdom is the tree, and that that that's very clear, like, how that can go wrong. Conviction is the dragon, but also wrath. And those, that's, that's like, the difference between, like, a chaotic, or not even a chaotic, like, a good paladin, the, the lawful good paladin, and then once you mix the wrath in there, then you have loose. Uh, could you um, type what those were? Those are. They're, they're in the chat. I know, but I meant the actual name, the Pantheon. Oh, the Norden Mythos. Yes. That. And that all of those are on here. Religions. Yes, all seven. Uh, is there anything special that the fox is wearing? Is wearing? No, it's just a fox. Mm, okay. All of these are very basic representations of what they're. Okay. Representing. <clears throat> huh. Okay. Holy yep. oh, shit! Hey, where does she cook food from? What? What? There are two doors, you know. Well, actually, no, they lead to the same place. Probably summon the food. She said she cooked. It's possible. Said that she keeps it in storage. Right. Did we pass any other rooms? No. For all we know, this is like the pillar room. It has hidden thingies everywhere. I want y'all to know that you spent three hours in this room. So, are, we, are we through fucking with things, or are you going to continue trying to smash their little figurines <laughs> oh, no. that clearly have nope. a piece of them nope. that... Nope, I'm, I'm done smashing. Well, smash! <laughs> <laughs> oh. The only I'm going to kill your character. You're not invincible. <laughs> You're the only player I've ever been comfortable saying your character is going to die this campaign. There's <laughs> zero chance. <laughs> oh, you sounded pretty comfortable when you first met Scylla. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> I've just now realized that, that it's Aura that's been creating the characters I want to kill the most. <laughs> Yeah, I think good characters. Lily's a good character. It's like Rel is just a very smart evil Scylla, honestly, at this point. Uh... Kinda, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the same personality traits, but also Rel's really fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's... Alright, anyways. You, you, you proceed downstairs, I suppose. Yep. Are we 
Are we leaving, or are you gonna continue fucking with it? No, I'm done. I'm done. Hmm. I just wanna get these thorns out of me. I hurt. A lot. Hmm. Oh god. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. I'll tell you what right now. Alright, so, as you as you come down the stairs, um, dragging Zhao with you, I assume. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. you see a familiar figure standing off to the side, currently playing with a uh, playing with a uh, series of, of prayer beads. And she turns and looks at you and says, Hello. We spent three hours up there. Yeah, and she did. was probably standing down here like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing down there? <laughs> don't ask. Just don't ask. I don't need to ask. I understand the friend's death can be hard. No. no. Stupid idiot back there. Points to Rail. Decided to try and smash one of your figurines. Rail's like got standing there, like waddling with her hands <laughs> out, stretched like swords in her. <laughs> it is hard to read a suit of an undead suit of armor. However, there is definitely a motion of surprise followed by immediate disappointment. And she also <laughs> broke the token, but we fixed that. <clears throat> you can stop. I get it. She's stupid. <laughs> she walks forward. Yeah lays her hand on this plinth in the center and she, you have passed my trials and so you may proceed forth but know this the path ahead of you is a difficult one be careful takes her hand off and you hear a as this, this light emanates from the center and then fills the entirety of the room and the portal opens. Uh, it is a series of stone circles that rise up out of the plinth like stairs. Each of them is spinning. Some of them are spinning clockwise, some of them are spinning anti-clockwise. And in the center, this great light shines out, and then all of them plummet downwards into each other. And you're now looking down into this this series of stairs that lead down into a portal. Floor 3 awaits you. Uh, can we can we rest here first? I'm perfectly fine letting you s you know uh, saunter uh, stew in those wounds. That's, that's probably fair. You may rest here. You have earned that right. Um, can, can I? Can I ask another favor? Favor? Unlikely. <laughs> what is? Uh, any chance you'd be willing to help get these thorns out? No. <laughs> Good choice. Fools must suffer in their own torment. She walks. I wasn't even the idiot that hit the figurine, and I had to deal with it. Yeah, I figured you was gonna help you. Yeah, I'll help her. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you best friend. <laughs> okay. You can take a rest here for the night if you'd like. No. Do you have a bath? No. Just be happy she's letting you sleep in the damn bed. Don't break my things. <laughs> A great sword appears out of the shadow next to you and cuts your head off. Oh well. <clears throat> Oopsie. Let's there go. goes what happened. Yeah, I want a bed. Okay. Um, yeah, I was gonna say he, he might be dead, but he'll be pissed if he finds out. With <laughs> if we just left him there. <laughs> just left him on the floor. <laughs> His dead body gets a... God damn it, token. Stop. It's a big... Oh my god. <laughs> just... I clicked out of it and it was like, no. You don't, you don't have to demonstrate to me where everything is. It's okay. You put Zhao on a bed. <laughs> this isn't a video game. We can use our imaginations. I know. But I still like to. For my clarity's sake. So, 
you uh, you can get a long rest here. Uh, as a note, the portal you all hear it close like very shortly afterwards. Makes sense. Don't want someone just wandering through and be like, "Hey, portal!" and jump. Yeah, right. <laughs> Huzzah! Wee! All right. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna undress and take these thorns out. Okay. Um. It's it's a process. Uh, I don't know if you've ever rolled around in a bunch of like sticker bushes before. Once. Oh. It's a little bit like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I figured. It's, a, it's unpleasant. Um, they're also all dripping with this black icker that's just not. Doesn't look healthy. On a high note, there's. Oh no, we don't have to go by that water. Oh, poor. Um... Never mind. For scientific sake, the ones I pull out of Amalia, I put them into a vial. Okay. You would have easily like ten vials full if you wanted. Um, I have. How many vials do I have? I think I have four. I don't I have trust vials. that I'm not diseased or poisoned, so since I don't know, and Zhao is dead, <laughs> <laughs> I have this ointment, I'm going to use it. Okay, okay sure. Vials of... Take a big swallow of this ointment, I think it's your last dose. Uh, no, it's still full. Oh, it's yeah, a full? Yeah, I gave her one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you have three doses total. Oh, it has three doses in one of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I have one, Amalia. Wait, yeah, no. Yeah, I have one. Did you manage to get three vials? Uh, or was I it three doses? I'm pretty sure you said vials. You just said restored appointment, I think. So uh, I took that as three. Alright, we won't worry about it. So, sure. That, that's fine. I mean, you take a, you take a swallow of one, the dose of this restored appointment. It was applied to the skin. It's actually swallowed. Wow, well, that's not what you mean. Not... It, yeah, it says as an action, one dose of the army. Oh, or, swallowed or applied to the skin. Yeah, but the, the the implication is if you're applying it to the skin, it's for, specifically for something on your skin. Gotcha. Just yeah. just drink it. Are these not? Safe. Huh? <laughs> just... Well, that's, actually, that's, yeah, okay, never mind. Just drink it and be safe. <laughs> drink it and apply it to the skin. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. You going to put some of that uh, restorative ointment on you too? Yeah, I should probably do that. Oh, it contains one d four plus one doses. Yeah, each of them had three. Okay, so each of them had three. I'll mark that. Because I have two. I thought you only had. I thought you only had three doses, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck around with it. So. Alright, uh, so this is a good stopping point if we want to stop here, or we can keep going. Shell's choice. We can keep going to midnight for another hour, or we can stop here. Well, as far as I'm aware, we're just going straight back, aren't we? Like, no side trips, just go back? We'll push the button so. and go straight to camp. Oh, yeah. We're gonna push the buttons, that way too, we don't go straight back. Push the button. Push the two buttons. The shuttle room push. and the, uh, uh, Fire room. Push button, delete carry. Okay. So we'll keep going then? Uh, up to you guys. I don't care. It's up to y'all. Um. I'm okay with it. But... I am F I N E either way. Well, I say let's get a break to go to the bathroom then. Before continuing. <sighs> Alright. I'm thinking. Spider. 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 Squish it. Squish it. You made me panic. <laughs> you said spider and I was like, where? <laughs> no! <laughs> it was crawling on the wall right next to me, so. Oh, yeah. I had to grab That's a usually tissue. where mine pop up, too. Yeah, we live in mini Australia, so. Oh. oh Spiders no. here are like, oh no. See, we have. I think our, in at least in BC, our deadliest spider is the daddy long legs. 
However, Daddy, long, Daddy Long Legs aren't actually Dumbling Smith. Well, I thought it was because like they they're no, whatever were too short. It. Oh, what yep. the fuck? It's it's Don't false. Don't fuck with something that's venomous. Oh, they they stuck their hands in there. They were like, bite me. <laughs> fuck it, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you're in British Columbia. Yeah, I think we have black widows every now and then, but they're super rare. Probably have brown recluses too. Yeah, don't uh, fuck oh, with yeah. um, brown widows. Brown recluse. Brown yeah, brown recluse, recluse is yeah. pretty scary. Brown widows um, are scary too. So, usually only appear appear in like heavily wooded areas. You guys have or orb weavers. What the fuck are those? They will fuck your shit up, is what they are. Mm -hmm. What? Is, you know what? I don't want to know what they look like because I don't feel like having a panic attack. Um. Let's see. Oh wow, they're very rare. Cool. There have been thirty-one sightings in Canada of this spider. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. No, Boy. we we really don't have a lot. Like I've. I've only heard of two brown recluses in my lifetime, and none of them have been anywhere near me. <laughs> but... So you guys, you have black widows. Yeah. You do have brown recluses, although it looks like brown recluses are pretty fucking rare. Yeah. There They're... was, um... Back in the town I used to live in, if there was a brown recluse, you, you knew about it. Everyone lost their shit. Really? I kill those things every other day. Um, I can go outside right now and find five. Yeah, I think I'm happy where I am. <laughs> Black widows tend to be in, like, garages and stuff like that, yeah. in basements. Your most common deadly spider is the Western Black Widow. It's actually not super rare in Canada. It's it's still around. I think... I honestly, I think that was, that's what keeps showing up in my room. Um, but it, you it wouldn't looks... know them. I don't know, it doesn't... I, I, I've i seen a Black Widow before. Not in person, but in a picture. Never mm -hmm. again. I I cannot stand to look at them at all. Yeah. Um, they are... They have the most unique spider shape. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. The, the, the black ones that keep showing up in my room kind of look like a really large ant. Oh, they're more than likely... Um, they're more than likely... Uh, uh, Bold spiders. Bold spiders? Mm-hmm. There are, uh... They are a species of jumping spider. Oh, fuck! Um, Can you not? Please? Well, th th don't worry about them, because they're actually <laughs> super friendly. They are... I call them spider bows, because... They... Number one, they don't bite. Unless they're, like, very threatened. But they will, they will jump away from you. Unless you run at them... If you run at them and you're very aggressive towards them, they will straight up jump towards you. They are psychotic, but they don't bite. Um, they're also not venomous, uh, but they do look like big, kind of black and red ants. No, oh, there's no red on them. They're just okay. They're black. probably not then. <laughs> they are we a have... type of jumping spider. Please no. Well, we have we have um, we have a type of jumping spider here that's black and white. And these things are psychotic. Like, they will jump onto you from 30 fucking feet away. They will just land on you, and they're like, Sup, bitch? They're like, this is my territory. But they're not really harmful. They don't, like, actively, like, bite or anything. They do... These, the type we have down here, do have a bite, and they hurt like a motherfucker. Uh, but they don't usually, like... They're aggressive for show, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, so they it's kind of like a chihuahua. Uh, yeah, they are literally <laughs> like puppies because they, all of their eyes are forward-facing. They don't have eyes on the side of their head. And so they have to turn their heads and stuff to look around. And so they lift up the front half of their body and look around, and they will wave at you. I don't love it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're adorable. They're See, the only type of spider where I'm like, okay, you're really cute. See, I don't know what it is. I don't even know when it started happening, but I just, I can't. I see a spider, a yeah, Go ahead. and I just start panicking and hyperventilating. Sometimes it's it's bad. That's fine. And there has been times where I I cannot sleep no matter how hard I try until I know that that spider is dead. 
if if it makes you feel any better, I'm looking through British Columbia's uh, spider species. You only have 64 different species of spider in British Columbia. For instance, Arkansas has like a thousand, um, oh. and there are only like seven on this list that are even venomous at all, and like three of those are apparently super super rare in British Columbia, and then the others are all fairly rare to begin with. Except for your black widow. Your black widow, you actually do have some black widows, but uh, like brown recluses there, they almost don't exist. It's this is blowing my mind because I can walk outside and legit kill five of those things within the span of ten minutes. We do have, I, I want to say they're called wolf spiders. I think. Wolf spiders are are venomous. Uh, they're not venomous enough to kill you. Yeah. They do hurt like a motherfucker, though. There's two different types of wolf spiders. There are the kinds that carry the babies on the back, and then there's another kind of wolf spider, which is big and fuzzy. Um, that kind of wolf spider, those, the fuzzy ones, hurt when they bite like a motherfucker. But the ones that carry the babies on the back, they are not venomous. Yeah, and... You never want to fuck with them because their babies go everywhere. Their babies just <laughs> spread everywhere, and it's yeah. like, this is... It's like I just killed, like, your mom, Godzilla. But it's like, come on, you're supposed to stay on your mom's butt. No, no. Yeah, you guys have little spiders I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, so yeah, Arkansas, yeah. Arkansas has, like, um, 70 times the amount of spiders that you have, easily. Yeah, we had um, one of those on our black screen. Did I ever tell you about mm -hmm. that? And I wanted to go inside the house, but she was sitting right on the black thing, and I couldn't go inside the house because of it. And I was like, Mom, there is a fucking big-ass spider with babies on her butt, and I can't get in the house. And so she, Mom had to take off the screen and kind of get her off, but some of her babies still stayed on it and panicked and stayed on the screen and ran away. Yeah, y'all spiders are so small. What the fuck? I'm looking at like pictures people have taken of spiders, and I'm just like, y'all, y'all don't have shit. Believe it or not, that was like the first time I've ever no. seen one of those. All right, are we gonna continue playing? Uh, uh, I, I, I need to use the washroom. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna vote no. Okay. Because if we're gonna go back to town, uh, I need to collect some bots. You need to collect some butts. Thoughts? Bots. Oh, I thought you said butts. I was like, uh, uh no friend. <laughs> no, if, 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 okay, if, if, okay, that's we're going, fine. We're going back to town. And... Yeah. Oh, I need to prepare what I'm going to say. To who? Everyone. Rawl's going to be like. We have no choice but to go back. I know what's going on down here. I have figured it all out. Rel's gonna go to Bryce and be like, look, we need to kill Haruka. <laughs> uh, there's, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot I've been... Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I think about going back to town, I get so fucking anxious. You don't understand. <laughs> oh, I know. <clears throat> I just... I just... <laughs> Okay, I've got um, I've got a, uh, I've got a sheet loaded for everybody. I'm gonna need you all to go ahead and just make backup care. Why? Because Rel's going to get you all killed. I think you would flee. <laughs> That's like fine. This. Just, just. I want you to. I want you to uh, have a backup character prepared just in case. I, I don't know what kind of character I want to play after this anyway. That's fine. Just, just think about it. I know oh, that. I know that Ara, because you might trigger some kind of AOE explosion that deals seventy-five points of damage and one shots everyone. Oh, okay. That's fair. At this point, I think it's well within character for them to just completely avoid Rel. Uh, yeah. Man, if Ko had been- if can you imagine what Ko would have done if Rel had done that in Ko's presence? He, Ko would have killed her. Right then and there. I'm pretty sure Ko would have just killed you. Ko would have executed you. Ko would have been like, well, she's still breathing. 
unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, I'd have done it. It was pretty insane. Right, yeah. I'm going to break this obsidian token. Oh shit, really bad things happened when I broke this particular obsidian token. I'm gonna break the other one. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ralph, what are you doing? Not understanding how magical artifacts work until you to break them. <laughs> You know, punching above her fucking pay station again. Again, it's gonna get her killed. I just, I just want you to be ready because I, I am one hundred percent going to kill your character at some point. I can. <laughs> I, almost <laughs> I almost did just a second ago. Yeah. Yeah. The the goal is for her to not die. The goal is for her to not. This is like playing a game of like. This is like playing a game of uh, of Russian roulette. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> her, her entire the entire goal is uh, see how long you can keep it going no not really it's to get away with as much as possible without dying yep she's suicidal can she get her goals completed we'll find out <laughs> next time on Rel and Ball Z very doubtful on Rel has lost her mind Well, we gotta wait until um, Amalia gets back. Why are you closing things when you gotta calculate XP for us and shit? Oh, uh, yeah, because I know how much XP you got. Okay, and then you should probably type it in chat or something. You can type it in chat. Okay, how much is it? Hold on. Oh, wait, Shaw doesn't get any. He died. He technically completed uh, it, though. He completed the fight. Technically, right? Yeah. No, he died before the fight was you over. Died, you still get XP? If, if, if you're uh, brought back. My understanding was that you don't? Hmm, let's find out. Dead character gets XP for every encounter that they participated in. Oh, okay. Yep, 5e rules. Neat. As long as you participate, that's all. Okay. Kill a PC so you can gain more experience. This is the real meta. <laughs> 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 Fucking Reddit. Okay, so you... Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, all of you gain 2,050 experience. 2,050. 2,050. Did you also count the RP? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I can see it now. Kill a PC and then you gain all their experience. Hey, this was a thing in my campaign. No one was really ever murdered but me, but it was usually justified. I, I can just see it now. Someone kills your character, and with a smirk, you open a filing cabinet labeled backup characters. You do this with the same smug look as Squidward when SpongeBob was destroying his alarm clocks, and then he opened a closet full of alarm clocks. <laughs> One day I died at the start of the campaign, they killed me, and then I finally made a new character, got back in the game, and immediately got one-hit KO'd by an NPC. 